Start recording. Start streaming. And hopefully everything will work out okay. <laughs> Here's Cross. There's your online. So for the record, you might be hearing some slight glitches in the uh, audio with this. We were able to get uh, the game on Dolphin. Thank you very much, Bread Mage, for that. Um, but the for some reason, like the game itself seems to play fine, yeah. but some of the opening cutscenes are just slightly off as far as the sound goes, and like it screws up like that basically. So. It shouldn't be a thing in the game proper, mm -hmm. but it may be a thing on these like opening cutscenes. We might just not sit on this menu. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Going forward, we shall see. As always, let us know what sound and everything. Yeah, we're kind of doing everything on the fly right now because we're very good at this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think I was saying before, like during one of our other streams, that this is the this is the type of thing that's in most Fire Emblem games that's not in Radiant or that's mm -hmm. not in Path, Path of Radiance. Radiance. This like showing base stats and like weapons and stuff for all the classes. Mm -hmm. That was like very GBA Fire Emblem-y. Mm -hmm. And yes, Felphon, this is going to be an adventure. So yeah, the opening cutscene, you'll almost definitely notice some problems with it, but mostly just like minor sound glitches that seem to go away before That's too long. very weird. Yes, LaRose, well, <laughs> there's a reason we made this a sub-goal rather than a uh, let's just go play this kind of thing. Yeah. Neither of us has the highest, highest opinion. Well, so hey, NJ Kren. Hello. We are playing some firm lerm. Move that further away oh. from my precarious laptop. I will put it on this side. We're still setting up things as we go because we realize that there's like no way to leave a battle except by uh, going to the home menu and the, resetting the, the Wii, Wii home menu. And of course, we're not. We, we don't have a Wiimote. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a Wiimote hooked up to this. So it's like. Trying to find a way to do the home menu, and then of course the home menu is dumb because it, the Wii had this thing where everything to do with the Wii home menu had to be yeah, point the point, IR infrared. You, you can't use a controller for any of this Wii stuff, it has to be IR. Which was really funny when me and my brother took the Wii with us somewhere and we completely forgot the IR bar, so mm -hmm. we couldn't actually play anything. So here's the thing, uh, the IR bar is bullshit, yeah. it's actually just an infrared light. <laughs> Oh, like yeah. two infrared lights. Oh yeah, no, you can actually fool it. So with, if like, you yeah. have anything that can generate infrared light and we point it at the controller, didn't have anything like you can that use that. I'm this many years oh ago, god, yeah. Like... Well, it's sort of like it wasn't common knowledge for a long time that you had that it was actually like you know you you might think that it's like tracking your movements in the thing, but no, it was just a little little eye infrared light that you plugged in, which was just always so funny to me when I learned that. Uh, yeah. So we've. Figured out how to use a mouse uh, and keyboard for it instead. We got the keyboard mouse, but there was a pain in the ass that trying to map the IR to the mouse decided to be a pain in the ass. It yeah, I eventually had to reset it to defaults, and, and that just got it. And now it's still not so. working right because we set a home button, but the home button doesn't seem to doesn't work. Doesn't always work sometimes. Like it did eventually work, but who knows? We may need to set that to a completely different button. Possibly. Who knows? Either way, this is the opening cutscene. How fun! You get all of this uh, character art for all these people, almost all of whom you met in the previous game. Some of them look different. Indeed. Some people got haircuts. There's these fuckers who, well... Don't matter. <laughs> unimportant. Oh, hey, dragons. And I like Benyon. These folks. Ooh. Ah, uh, we see these birds before. They mm. ain't important. These particular birds. They ain't important. They and just birds. this lady. This young lady with her strange bird and that guy we've never seen before. Oh, definitely. Much too tall. Mm-hmm. 
That does not surprise me. But yeah, for, yeah. For some reason, when you decided, yeah, you have to use this infrared input for everything. For every for selecting menu thing. Games. So you legit, if you cannot, yeah, get the infrared to work, or if your controller is a little bit low on battery and its infrared detector is on the fritz, which happened a lot. Yep. You couldn't play games, even games that didn't use that at all. Yep. Like, even GameCube games, you couldn't open them. Yep. So yeah, this was we just did, our did a, quick test, test file. file. Fuck it. Um, worth noting that because we're playing on the Dolphin, we could carry over the save file from the most recent run that we just finished, mm -hmm. which means that Ike's going to get a bunch of stat bonuses <laughs> is kind of the only takeaway from that. He's like the only one as well. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure how the stat bonus worked. I believe sure it's, it's if you're level 20 and capped the stat, mm -hmm. you'll get a bonus coming in okay. in this game. Yes, yeah, start a new adventure with my best buddy Ike, who will definitely be in this stream it's, here. Radiant and Dawn is so weird about the transfer. Ah, like. And the stream dies. Ah! Uh, One of them days. Uh, I noticed the internet blipped earlier. It's blipping mm -hmm. now, actually. Ugh. No, it's not bleeding in a minute. Maybe we have yeah, to kick the router. Yeah, we probably have to kick the router after this. Fairly consistently. It seems like it only does it once or twice a stream, but it's still annoying enough. We should definitely, if we remember, just reset shit. Hopefully we'll be back soon. Your enter button again. No, I didn't do it. I think when you click out the window, you do it. Oh. I think if the mouse goes out the window, it goes to the hole. I think you're gonna have to undo that. <laughs> I mean, that seems okay for the most part. We'll see. Oh god, now the internet is. Oh, there it is. It's finally wet. Yeah, here it comes. Ugh! Come on, get them kilobits per Come second on. up. Oh, wait, is it dead again? Are we gonna just go kick the router before we start anything? So. Oh, okay. It looks like OBS is back. Okay. <laughs> Some act of God shit. Yeah, pretty much. We should hopefully be back up now. Hello again. Hello. Sorry about that. It seems like this is happening quite a bit. See, the internet goes down. Yeah, I mean, a we might be able to, like, kick the kick the modem after this stream. If it, if it happens again during the stream, we'll probably just go do it actively, but usually it kind of goes okay. Usually it only happens once or twice and then stops. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, shall we? Yep. Alright, so... Ugh, God. <laughs> okay, yes, it does look like character portraits mm, unlock as you I'm go along, you go, so yeah. we will show that off at some point. Yep. So anyway, um, as I was saying, because we're playing on the Dolphin version, thank you, Bread Mage, we uh, will be getting some bonus stuff. And I guess our coins will carry over, even though this was really the run where we didn't really pick up coins. Yeah, I guess so. Hello, Hemrodromus. Okay, I'm gonna have a look. Um, anyway, shall we... Uh... Okay, base stats. So a character meet, reached the maximum value for a stat at their final class, at their final level, they received a fixed bonus to that stat in 10. Plus 5 for HP and plus 2 for any Anything else. Stats. Oh, can I get a tissue real quick? And then we will start up, we swear. Uh, Dan had received the bonus for anything that... Just, just have the box. Just have the box. Have the whole fucking box. Ugh. And Kaleo receives uh, an additional bonus for anything Largo can't be. Ah. But bonuses for the same stat do not stack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we only had two characters max level. And, um, Tornado, I don't think, have any cap stats. Yeah. I think it's just so it's he just... did not have any, so it'll just be just Ike. Just be Ike. Um, for the record, we usually get them from mm. other places. Uh, anyway. Okay, if... Didn't there'll be weapon rank bonuses, depending on how high their rank was. Weird. Shall we start? Yeah, let's start. It is already almost 3.15. Anyway, yeah. so this is where it... This is where it mentions, load Fire Emblem Path of Radiance data from GameCube memory card. Um, 
And this basically means that we can take these two files, this one being our original playthrough and this one being the... Uh... I don't think we matched anyone's level apart from Ike. Yeah. So, and he wasn't a great Ike, and so... He wasn't an amazing Ike, so yeah, let's just send the better Ike over. Let's send the better Ike. <laughs> We'll do this on normal. This file is not unlocked hard, but I probably wouldn't play this game on hard anyway. No. <laughs> so, normal seems fine. All right, mm -hmm. let us jump in. Part one, Never. the silver-haired maiden. Never jump in. Who is definitely Ike, our main character. Uh, 100%. You like Ike, and only Ike. Thank you very much. <laughs> we do start with another cinematic, and they're... A bit better done in this game, sort of. Sound balanced better. <laughs> They're subtitled as well. <laughs> Which helps, you know. Got the basics down. Ah, our heroine. We're wasting our time. There's no one here. I know I heard something. Hush, Yuni. Please don't cry. If they hear you, they'll give us- You're talking to the bird! <laughs> Who's there? I'll give you away! Just a bird. Nothing here but us birds. Bird it away. Bird, bird. Chirp, chirp. Chirp, chirp. Is it the Dawn Brigade? No. It was just a bird. The soldiers are so weird here. I know. Why would you... And then this guy just finds you anyway. <laughs> Thought we didn't see you? I don't really know why you pretended for our benefit. Right? <laughs> like... Benefit of the audience, right? Silver hair. If it's the fortune teller, we'll be heroes. Without her, the Dawn Brigade is nothing. Oh, the general's going to love this. If you don't want to get hurt, don't struggle. And then a man's throat gets slashed. This is a Starting darker, off on a high note. darker, edgier emblem. A darker, edgier soft. I believe they trade out some of their uh, D's for B's in this game. <laughs> Those dastards! It's not as fun if they're not saying cur. <laughs> I don't I don't quite remember if there's cussing in this game, but I guess we'll see. You cur! You scurvy cur! Yes, that is Soth, the tiny child that we found on our boat mm -hmm. in the previous game. He's uh had a bit of a growth spurt. She blinded them and they're all like, oh my eyes, my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I can't fight uh <laughs> I did not know that heart emoticon. I didn't know that either. A soft that doesn't hurt to use. Although technically, Wiimote 1 disconnected by emulated software. I assume if I move the mouse around, that'll come back. Yeah. Shouldn't really matter most of the time here. Anyway. So we get some uh, new well, main I, characters. I assume it's just the thing where Wiimote's turned off yeah, if exactly. you weren't used. That's, that would be and my guess. And then you just press the button to make it back on. I am gonna make Here this text this scroll faster. Little loser. Leonardo. Da Vinci? Nope. Totally different. Darn. Game's not that interesting. Please, future sight is never that convenient. Right? By the way, you can't actually get to the options menu in this game before no. you actually get into a battle here, so we're gonna have yeah. to put up with this text scroll until I can change it. Yeah. And the bandits. bandits! Attack in the tune. Oh. Don't worry, man. We're mercenaries. Wait, wrong game! I was gonna say we have funny colored hair, but honestly, Edward isn't actually all that funny. Ah, turns out Dane is the ones being oppressed now. Mm-hmm. Yes, it did mention before here that we are in the uh, Dane capital of Navassa. Yes, we are. They're worse than useless. We children will fix everything. 
Yep. Oh, it was fixed in the power release. That sounds mm. about right. <laughs> power release so God nine. damn it, Edward. God damn it, Edward. Don't just say that. Right? He just goes around telling everyone he's part of the Dawn Brigade. Like, we're the Dawn Brigade, by the way. By the way, we're the Hunted Dawn Brigade. Yeah, don't tell them about us. You know those guys who are wanted by the army? Yeah, that's us. That's... You're just children. Oh, no, not children. Maybe get off your butt, lady. What if the good people were actually the bad people? No, the new sub... <laughs> but yes, Speaking of sub-goals... We should mention we have a new sub-goal. Yep, for, up uh, there in the top left. If you haven't noticed, uh, carrying on the theme of uh, bad sequels to games we enjoy, uh, we will play the goddamn awful Tales of Symphonia 2 for you guys if we hit... Idiot kids and drooling greybeards. 75 subs, so... But I see the file you started must have been in uh, easy mode. Yes, it was in easy mode. <laughs> there were far fewer people. I just fuck, fuck it, I'll just put it on easy mode. That right? seems perfectly fair. So yeah, we start off with Edward and Micaiah as our uh, two main characters. We see that vulnerabilities just... have been replaced by herbs in this game with 10 uses. This is a which very is wild. Uh, more standard Fire Emblem um, stat menu. With like the stats down at the bottom, giving you your your thingy stats up at the top. Yeah. Items there. Yeah, nice that they do always show those sorts of things, mm -hmm. and you get the usual fire emblem stats. Um, Biorhythm still exists in this game. We still ignore it in this game. You see all this stuff like affiliation, authority, commander, and bond. You'd no one cares. Think this would come in. No one cares. Not so much. No one cares. Um, skills in this game quite a bit more wild. Uh, first Shelf. off, there are innate skills, mm -hmm. like he has wrath. Uh, oh, you'll also notice they rebalanced the fuck out of the skills. So like in Path of Radiance, wrath was 50% when you got half health. Mm -hmm. Here it's 50% when you get to 30 health, which is a little bit more dangerous. Um, you, we also have an innate crit plus, crit plus five. Uh, and for some strange reason, Shove, shove is now a skill points. that takes points off of your capacity. They're like... The sine wave is biorhythm. Which there we are ignored. some slight we ignored stat ups and downs we for that. We completely ignored it. <laughs> yes. Um, and then in this one, you get sort of the less useful move, like, uh, stuff, like your race, your affinity. And also, all of the different weapon types that are in this game... I believe the only totally new one to this game, or new ones to this game, are Strike and Dark. Mm -hmm. Strike is like barehanded. Dark is dark magic, which yeah, did not dark. exist in nine. It was taken out of nine. It was in seven. Anyway, eight, so attack animations? No, absolutely not. Uh, no, no, we have to show them off first. Okay, that's fair. We have to show them anyway, first and then turn them off. Game speed is going to be fast. Message speed is going to be fast. Grid thickness is fine. Unit window is fine. Um, oh, geez, you can get, like, real... I wonder if these are supposed to have things in them. Mm. I wonder if this is an emulation error. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, combat Woo! window. Simple's usually better because it'll actually tell you when things are double hitting. Uh, help window captions, whatever. Map display Me, seems yeah. fine. Bread mage! Thank you! Finally, a Fire Emblem game that lets you hit that dank curb. Exactly. Hell yeah. Wiimote remote position. <laughs> Not important because we're doing this on a GameCube controller, technically. Alright, this should all be fine. Alright. So, uh, so good and fine and proper. Exactly. So you'll notice Edward's level four, Mikaya's level three. Um, one thing, if I do remember correctly, is that the weapon triangle bonuses have been toned down in this game. I believe it's only ten extra evade that you get for uh, having a better weapon. So you'll actually find that your you. swordsmen get hit a lot more often by axe people. So anyway, you'll see here, um, the one nice thing is that they actually do show you the damage hit and crit in this, on this screen now. Yeah, um, weapon triangle bonus is plus 10 on minus okay. 10. Okay. But beyond that, ah, uh, why you gotta do this to me? Oh, uh, game, uh. Oh yeah, she speaks bird. Yep. 
Yeah, I guess that's sort of an important-ish thing. Yep, she speaks bird. Yep, see, you can also see the weapons they have equipped and their maximum health. So, like, they've improved this, but it's still... Eh. No matter the... <laughs> oh, in hard mode, there is no weapon triangle bonus. Right, I remember that, too, which is weird. Like, let's just take a weapon... Let's just take a mechanic out, you know? Right? Yeah, it's kind of wild how they're better than nine, and yet still, they're still, still bad. so just lifeless. They're still bad. I'll let them go for a little longer, but I'm absolutely turning these off. I yeah. Oh god, yeah. No interest in keeping. I will say, Edward's been doing pretty decent on the dodging front. Mm, good boy. He is, by the way, a Myrmidon. It's pretty rare that you actually see a Myrmidon in these games. Oh, uh, one thing that I did remember from this game that it shows you is if you look behind the Myrmidon level experience etc. screen, you see a little up arrow there. That's because his biorhythm is actually at max right it's now. It's at best. Um, so when you, if you just look at someone's thing and if you want to see like the, the notes of it, uh, or, or like if you want to see just at a glance if it's up, down, or neutral, you can just take a look at their, at their screen basically. Um, super, super minor, but worth being aware of. Yeah, it's like, I understand the idea of, like, you know, take away the player advantages because you're usually swords and your enemies are usually axes in the early parts mm -hmm. of these games, mm -hmm. but, like, it's... It's a mechanic. You're it's... doing it by removing a mechanic. Side note, um, Micaiah's affinity thing is glowing. Um, the reason for that is that the level, the level itself has so the dark affinity to it. That is also taken out of hard mode. So yes, levels have affinity, and if you are the same affinity, you get a plus, I think it's plus five bonus. Anyway, fuck attack animation. But yes, that bonus is also taken out of hard mode. Yeah. Like, again, yeah, plus five if the user has the same affinity as the map. And it's like, okay, and you put this mechanic in, and you decide, but for hard mode, None no. of that shit. Hard mode, none of that shit. Right. Can you put uh, her and block, uh, block it up with sword? I'm probably point? gonna, yeah, put him here so that he can only be attacked by one guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also just have her attack over this bench. Uh, this game is going to make a lot more use of uh, terrain? terrain and, like, height related things. So keep that in mind. Oh, right. Edward has a vulnerary. Vulneraries in this game consume tw or give you 20 health rather than 10, and they have eight uses. You'll notice that basically all the numbers are bigger in this game. Uh, that's going to be a running theme. Numbers go up. Numbers go up. I, I will say, I, I, I don't hate how this game starts. Yeah. This is fine. The first section of the game is probably the strongest. Yeah. Um, mostly because your party is small enough that most people get to have conversations. Yeah. And that's the only characterization they're going hey, to get. Ah, Leo! We have found this Leonardo Nerd. fellow that you were waiting for. Um, she, they, he followed the sight of uh, the sound of fighting. <laughs> and the bird. There are a bunch of axe users. That's beyond reckless. Fighting, not difficult to find you. All these child soldiers. Yeah, I like that vulneraries are um, better use, more HP. Like, three use vulneraries are our standard thing. Yeah, there we go. Leonardo games. is level four as well. But, like, three use vulneraries are such a pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah. I never use them. Anyway, we now have three units, so I'm a little bit less worried about throwing Edward into the wolves. I mean, it's not particularly that this game didn't have time to be finished, although that's certainly a thing. <laughs> that's certainly involved in it. I feel like their end yeah, game yeah, was also kind of just nice. always bad. Like, the where they were going with the story was always bad. Mm. Oh, wow, he attacked Edward anyway. Wow, Edward has not been hit yet. I just, just want to mention. He's a good, he's a good dodgy boy. Clearly. Yeesh! <laughs> like, these are 40% chances, and yeah, it's true hit, so that's kind of not quite correct. But at the same time, that's, like, enough? Yeah. Yeah, definitely, you, you want to kill that one with the I do. Well, it's more just figuring out... Because you can can't... You shove... Ah, oh, you can only shove her. Mm -hmm. So I'm basically doing my usual bullshit, but I also no, want to no. move Mikaya forward a bit more, mm -hmm. if possible, but I can't, so I won't. Yeah. And yeah, there's no way to get that guy with you. Yep. It's less getting him with Leo, who is level 4, so it doesn't really matter. Um, magic and res, that's a whatever level. Magical there. Yeah. 
really could use a bit more speed, but I say that of every character ever. Yeah, and it's true, true of every character. Yeah. But yeah, these two are level four, yes. Mikaya's level one. Leonardo really wanted to make it very clear that this bird is the... <laughs> a bird! Your bird! The bird that you have follow around you. That's your, the bird that told me. Your trained bird. I have no idea if this guy moves or not. Um, I guess we'll find out. Yep. By the way, he uh, has an iron axe. What you may not have noticed is that all of these basic enemies have bronze axes, which are new, like, in the entire series to I this game. So because I believe it was basically just slim was below. Um, yeah, it used to be slim. This game has bronze for whatever reason. I'm not sure if it was in, like, uh, you know, an old one I haven't played sort yeah. of thing. I don't think so. I think it always started with iron back in the day. God, that's so... Oop, I believe our laundry is done. Oh, I'll go get it. All right. Looks like it'll just be me holding the fort for now. How dare you. Yeah, Radiant Dawn Awakening and Fates. Yeah. Bronze weapons. Makes sense. That they are a later edition. You'll notice that Pugo's bio rhythm is up and Edward's is down and yeah, it's at its worst right now. Um, and that will basically have effect on your dodge and all sorts of other bullshit. Let's see. He has a 77% chance of hitting us here. Um, but if this guy doesn't move, I'm not actually all that worried about him. You know? I don't think he does. I could be wrong though. Uh, no, not at all, Bellafon. Yeah, so Edward is actually just a level 4 mercenary in that, or he's just a level 4 Myrmidon in this. Okay, he does move, he just couldn't before. Who do you think you are? God, that riff. It is kind of wild that you end up with a boss here that you can't double attack. Like, right off the start. So he has 19 attack. Thank you. Um, we have 5 defense, so even if he attacks our archer here, we should live through it. Okay, Biorhythm is plus 5 or minus 5 to hit. I don't okay. know what else it does. <laughs> yes, I was mentioning it earlier. Yes, at best it's plus 5. <laughs> That's a boss quote, I guess. Ah, no, it's plus 10 and minus 10. Best ah, and lowest. Right. Makes sense. And plus five is in the middle. Shut up, kid! Shut up, I kid. work hard, too! Anyway, he will almost certainly attack Leonardo Fire once rhythm I heal. also affects skill activation rate. Again, ah. plus ten and minus ten. That I did not know. So I assume he's gonna attack Leonardo, which is convenient for me because I can use Micaiah to get the kill. Fire rhythm also affects finding desert items. Mm, plus, twen plus 20 or minus 20. Yeah, minus. I guess they just throw it in there. Right. So yeah, this is... One thing I will say about this game is that the very starting party you get is definitely weird. I mean, you've got a magic using Lord, which is probably the first time that's ever happened. I um, want to say so. Again, maybe some one like, that never got released. Over um, here that yeah. uh, had one. But yeah, most of them are swords. They want no match for us. Oh, thank God this text is scrolling faster. <laughs> like, I'm not in a rush to get through the text, but at the same time, it's like scrolling. so much. You did it! Hello. Hey, look, it's the old lady and the small child. I love old lady and small children. Uh-oh. Guards on a totally different part of the map. So yeah, like, one thing I will give this game is that it does more of these kinds of cutscenes on mm -hmm. the map proper. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm-hmm. So basically, Banyan is, is sort of occupying Dane at the minute. Which, I mean, they did just lose a war about three years ago. Yeah. After their king kind of, you know, went all total genocide on Went all uh, maniac. Crimea. Yeah, so yeah, Banyan is, is occupying Dan. Mm. And we're sort of a little resistance force. Yep, the Dawn Brigade. It, I think it has such a beginning as a good start, because that is a good start to the story, because it, it is something that ah, happens. Ah, this dude. Ooh, this dude. Jared. Jared, which is like the no, least threatening Jar name. Jared. Jared. Banyan, ruled by shitlords. We sorta of knew. Yeah, we're not thieves, by the way. No. I mean, we kind of are, but we're Robin Hood. We're Robin Hood. Mm, a witch, the silver-haired maiden. So they're having this conversation for the benefit of us, the viewer. Yes, they are. So we basically steal from Ben Young to give back to Dane. Yep. 
And she sort of kicked her ass. But we lost them, so... She blinded us and we were useless then. She blinded us with science. You're all useless. <laughs> Kill one of my own men to show how bad I am. Yeah. Establish myself as, well, the main villain, I guess. I'm not the main villain, though. He's the main villain of this part, at least, I'm for quite a while. I'm just a loser. But yeah, he's more that early game bullshit yeah. kind of guy. Older. Hey, buddy. Ah, yes, he's the crazy bad guy mm. who's just in it to do murders. Yeah, but the, the one who's a psycho, quote-unquote. Yeah, people are both mean and good enough to make me play this. We, we got to 40 subs. We are playing this game, and we have a new goal. Yep, to, to hurt ourselves <laughs> even more. I'm, I've decided that's our theme for sub goals, is sequels to games. Bad sequels, bad sequels to games to that, games that we like. like. Oh, hey, narrative, narrator. It's hair! Solid snake! Damn! Metal Gear! Weirdly balanced. Crimea is a bit too small to rule over another country. Yeah. But that was a bit shitty of us, to be honest. Wally! Thank you for the Thank sub. You. Zooming in on Dane. Totally wipes out all the sound here mm -hmm. as we talk over it. I mean, you can get the gist. Void of purpose, designed to break both my break. And the remaining population faces poverty and starvation as the fields lie fallow. Which doesn't seem like a very a band good way, good way to, to occupy a country. Yeah. Yon army. Sort of just asking for the resistance force to pop up. Brigade. So a bit like nine. We start off as a bit of a ragtag band fighting for our freedom. Fighting a much bigger force. And it's like, I don't hate this as a concept. No, I like it. I like it, like you're saying, like... Oh, Makaya. But, like, countries being occupied after they try to invade other countries is the thing that happens. Like, when they get smacked down, then they get oppressed. That is a thing that happens. And yep. it's a good starting point for this story. Yep. And then I decided to add this little Mary Sue thing right here. <laughs> well, we'll get into that later. In the first part, she's not so bad. She's fine in the first part, although she does have a magical bird creature and well, of course she does. clairvoyance. Silver hair and clairvoyance. It's fine. Yeah, see Germany, Germany, and, and Germany. Yeah. <laughs> Maiden of Miracles. It's, it's, a good, it's a good start to story that could be interesting. Yeah, exactly. It's like the game sort of told us all of this through the first chapter itself, and then it told us again with a narrator. That's, that's, a, that's a Japanese game thing, though. No, that yeah. doesn't bother me. Soth and Nolan, eh? Oh, Nolan! One of the only characters I like. <laughs> new characters, that is. You yes. do actually get a bunch of new characters at the start. Yes. Which is kind of a feint. Yes. Prisoners in our own land. Hello, King Spunf. It wasn't really a war so much as an invasion, guys. Yeah. Like, let's not rewrite your own history. Well. <laughs> you fucking took over Crimea. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I mean, that is also true, yes. Crimea is tiny. Yep, and was also kind of completely and ripped kind of and torn destroyed, by the war. Yeah. Nolan, my boy. <laughs> well, the truth is, we kind of hit the horn. Got a little bit a noticed. Little bit. Yeah. He only wanted to help. Mikhail has both Twinks and and a bear. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. There's some of our power. She can heal without, like, A healing tomes. staff. Saves. Indeed. You just keep doing it. Hm. Can't have Nolan as full bear because you have Ike. <laughs> Can't have anyone more bear than Ike. 
Or Largo. A kitten couldn't sneak past them. Why would a kitten sneak past enemies? <laughs> Oh, he's fine. Soth is like level billion. Soth is our Jigen. Soth I'll, is our I'll let that, for uh, the game, yeah. I'll let that slip. Mm -hmm. Should be mentioned, Nolan is sort of like a pseudo Jigen as well. I love him though. Drink. All these, I mean, the, the thing about it is that because none of these characters are actually promoted, they aren't yeah. Jigens in the classical sense. And yes. that also just, yes. you know, like, they're, he's, a le he's I believe, level 10. Mm -hmm. Um... I don't know, he's higher level than Mikaya. Yeah. So, like, all the characters here are kind of fine when it comes down to it. Anyway, uh, okay, yes, Nolan is level 9, and he is a Steel Axe, actually. I believe Strength in this game does work the same way that it works in Radiant or in uh, Path of Radiance, where your Strength determines... But, uh, we have... Or, yeah, your Strength can determines how much speed you lose. Anyway, we have 10 turns yeah, to finish speed, this. Speed, uh, weapon weight minus strength. There Apparently we go. Apparently it says and take a just... zero if negative. Hmm? Weapon weight minus strength take... If your speed is negative. Ah. As in if your overall oh, speed is less than... Oh, okay. Yeah, that made no sense to me, right? Yeah, it was a we it's worded weirdly, for sure. The con's um, still mostly obsolete. See, yeah, Nolan is, is a few levels higher than everyone, and he makes a good, um... Heat choke. shield. A shield made of meat. Let's see, if I go up here, check him out. You'll also notice characters walk on the diagonal in this game. That's really mm -hmm. the big, big uh, improvement to it. I think I'll actually just have him stand put here so that he doesn't get totally swarmed by all these axe users. I will say that they did a lot more to make the maps feel a bit, like better than they do in Radiant Dawn. You know, like, there's different types of obstacles and things, and they're, they're just more visually interesting. Yeah, Which yeah. is definitely a plus for them. I am going to put Nola, or, um, Edward over here to block this off, and then I'll put my two artilleries, uh, in the back. Yeah, I think the biggest thing about the graphics still is, is it has a little bit more of a style, but it's still not, you know, like the GBA game. Yeah, and I mean, the you look at the animations, and they're still just so stilted. Storm in this alley. Here's Isaiah, another generic first boss. Edward has only ever taken a hit from, like, the boss of the first level, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sort of assume Nolan's gonna take a bunch of damage here, which is fine. Ah, right, that guy's a javelin. Edward, no! Pretty good level by Edward! Alright, good boy! Everything but magic, luck, and res, which are sort of the least useful skills. Uh, apparently the game of the series guides for this game are nowhere near as good as for 9, which... Unfortunate. Fair! Worth noting, key. Nolan does have 9 defense, which means he can actually take a lot better, more hits than a lot of people. Um, so 7 and 7, 12, guy hits him kinda too much. Hmm, so I have Leonardo soften him up. Do 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 do. Seen. That leaves him with five. Yeah, Leonardo. Yeah, the, the guy uh, whose guy I was Fuck! using. Holy shit! Well, this is a problem now. That is a problem. I'm gonna hmm. die. Yeah, the guy whose great guy I was using for nine only goes up to the end of part two. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yes, he also gave up on this game in the same part I did, I guess. Yeah. Well, uh, this ain't great. But I'll, I'll use this guy until great, because it has maps. Alright, I think what gives me the best chance of surviving for this turn is killing this guy off with Mikaya and then moving Edward okay, over yes, and killing him. Okay, yes, we do get items him. from visiting houses. One has a vulnerable and one has a hand axe. Okay. Perfectly acceptable. Okay, yeah, fair. And speed's always nice, but beggars and choosers mm -hmm, and all that. Mm -hmm. Part three, use Ike. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Anyway, Leonardo might die here. Yeah. Mostly because he missed, and then, uh... 
is in, I think he's in like two hit range. And I mean, a lot of these enemies can kill your characters in two hits. It's kind of a lot. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna uh, have to home menu and the Wiimote connected. Yeah, you, there is no like menu quit in this game. The only way to like reset is to do the Wiimote men home menu. Yep. And reset. It's weird. Leo dead. I mean, if he had hit there, everything would have been fine. Yeah. I yeah. think I am instead going to have Nolan attack this guy this time. Mm -hmm. um, he'll take some extra damage, but the dead, like that's kind of necessary, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's okay if Edward takes this here, although he might die. No, <laughs> no promises. Um, no. Yeah, the first part of this game is actually fairly difficult. Yeah. There are a lot of enemies. Yeah, and like this is normal mode, it should yeah. be mentioned. Yeah. Ooh, shit. Oh, Alright, gonna restart again. Oh, Edward. I knew that was actually a chance, you know, like that that was something that could happen. Because again, your sword, like your dodgy sword users are not yet dodgy enough. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm Get gonna have to take to this. this a little bit slower, I think. Mm. Um, let them come to me the first time around. Oh, you have to be cautious in this game? Shameful. Ugh. Ugh. That's not how you play Fire Emblem. I know, it's the What's worst. What's this bullshit? I, if I'm not moving through a chapter at breakneck speed, what is even the point? I know. I think this is the thing that got me about part three, even though you have Ike and you're supposed to be basically invincible, is that sometimes I just got murdered. Yeah. Sometimes enemies just fuck you up. Yep. And if you play these games like me, you reset when a character dies. It's the worst. Yep. Strong agree. Um, I am going to just put everyone in this alley mm -hmm. this time around. I think you can do this a bit more aggressive, but you might need to get lucky with dodges. Yeah. Um, I think once we clear out that dude with the javelin, who is a real fucker, real pain in the ass. Yeah. we should be okay. Um, so yeah, he'll attack in here when then... You should be able to just clear him out. Oh, oh, he's just no, guarding the traveling door. No, the traveling guy to guard the door, yeah. Okay. That's... So you want to Leonardo, yeah, one of these guys. Boop. And probably McKay on the other one? I would think so. Yeah, oh, I guess I should mention the uh, that Mikaya has this sacrifice, sacrifice skill, yep. which lowers her HP to go uh, to heal other people, and I believe it's at a better re uh, at a better rate for you, but of course she has 15 health right now, so... Yeah, it's basically the story skill. This is her healing people. Yep. It actually takes some out of her. Yeah, this is a bit rude for a second mission I normally play. The first part of this game is hard. This game is actually just hard in general, to, yeah. to be honest. Alright, so I think that if I have this guy, if I have Edward attack this dude, um, I might need Nolan to finish him, which is yeah, actually kind of worse. Yeah, what you want to do is put him in front of the, this guy. Well, that's that's what I wanted and to do with him. And then smack the axe user to the right. I'm just a little worried about him dying with 17 health. Mm. Um, so I might need to just heal, and then with those two there, uh. he'll only have the option to attack Nolan and yeah. Edward. Yeah, that's fair. Um, it's a bit awkward. It's it's all a bit awkward, honestly. Yeah. Like, this is surprisingly tough for... Yeah, it's probably only give you, like, four units. Yeah. I mean, let's let's just take a look. It's 16, which would actually be 15, uh, minus 9 is 6 damage to him, and then this guy does 16 minus 9, which seven. is 7. 9 plus 7 is 16, so he does survive this. I mean, if, yeah. Yeah, well, the, basically the thought being that if this guy dies because Nolan kills him, then we're yeah, kind of set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you could save state. I could save state. Will not be the first time. Will not be the last time. Nope. I am going to hot key lose at some point. Someday. Anyway. I mean, that guy has 72 71 hit. 71 hit on your sword wielder. Your Myrmidon. Yeah, like your dodgy sword wielder, though the sword wielder who is explicitly there to dodge things. Yeah, second mission, normal difficulty, and this is what you're dealing with. Um, and it's this is sort of the way this game is, honestly. Yeah. I say in part three, you have all your mega units back. 
And people were like, oh yeah, the part three is really easy. I died so often I just gave up. I yeah. gave up! I literally gave up. I could not get past this one chapter in part three and I just gave level up. Three, level four, got it. Probably, um, let's see, there's this one soldier dude here, and then, ah, yes, this guy can also get over, so I'll probably put, like, Nolan in and have him vulnerary over here, um, and then presumably have Edward go heal up or kill this guy. I gotta, I, I like, there's a lot of things that I want to happen right now, basically. But yeah, this is sort of why Vulneraries and all the other healing items are, like, actually huge in this game right now, because, uh... You kinda need them. You don't have a yeah, healer like, or anything. Yeah, like, our only healer takes her own health to do it, so if she takes damage, you're kind of in trouble. Not an amazing eh. level up, but you are an archer, so... I wouldn't expect anything from you. Those beasts! So yeah, Benyon's a shit. Yeah, that's basically the takeaway here. That's basically the, this is the game, is Benyon is shitty. Which we kinda knew in 9. You see a lot of internal Benyon politics, but they're... Mm. And we saw a lot of the racism, mm -hmm. but we kinda didn't see the part where they, they don't really care about other people either. Yeah. Well, it's also like uh, Crimea and Dane were are like vassal states of mm -hmm. Benyon, mm -hmm. um, who who at the time of uh, Path of Radiance starting had just gained independence, basically. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you are about to die. Yeah, no, I was just checking what the attack was. Yeah, you start off with these really squishy units too. Yeah, you, there are absolutely 15. no like cavaliers or uh, stuff like that. Like your your tanky big unit here is a fighter, which are generally classes with high health but low defense. Yep. Oh, Leo, you stupid fucker! He's That's missed twice. like two easy ones. That's twice he's done that to us. Now Edward's gonna die for his sins because he can't dodge anything. Nope. And it's like, the, normally when they put you against axes like this, it means that you have, you know, relatively easy hits and the game is much more forgiving. But, you can sort of see uh, the trouble that I'm having with this after literally, like, rushing through. We did just get a Wrath Crit there, though. Yeah, so that's we, nice. Uh... And I believe neither of those guys should move. No, because they're Garden Square. Yep. Yeah, I, I quite like the muted... Yeah, the, the color palette is a bit more muted oh, in this This is game. where the fucking house was. I, was, I kept, like, uh, looking around for where the other... Because you said there were two houses. Yeah, what did you get out of that one? Uh, this was the hand axe. Oh, let's find the other one's a Volmer. Okay. Um, I'll probably send just someone back to get it, like Nolan or something, although yeah. he's probably needed to finish mm -hmm. off the chapter. It also puts you up against, like, a Myrmidon boss when you have, like, an axe user, a sword user, and a bow user. And I mean, the takeaway from this is because this dude uses a steel sword, you can just uh, cheese him from range. But it is like, it's weird. There, you can't fuck this up, Leo. Is there anything talking about bonus EXP out of curiosity? Sort of just wondering. I'm just what up, guys. Oh yeah, he has a Draco shield for some reason. I guess I haven't been checking that at all. Might send Nolan back to... Okay, here we go. Yeah, there's max turns. Some have survival and all that. Mm-hmm. This is just 1-1, one, one, 7... Oh, okay, if you exceed the bracketed number, you don't get any bonus. Ah. So, seven is... Damn it, Edward! Seven's where you get maximum. Mm -hmm. Nine in this chapter is... You get no bonus EXP. Okay. It was worth it for the no for the nary. Mm-hmm. For the nary. Has not clicked once. 
I guess at least they can't see the message that it disconnected. Yeah, yeah, it's not on the stream. Anyway, the nice thing is Mikaya can actually just, uh... Yep. Bombard this dude. Um, I also don't know if escape is technically an arrive condition or not. I don't know. What fast little mice you are! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Christ! <laughs> this game is going well already. Jeez. I literally didn't know that he did that. <laughs> Are you guys entertained yet? This is what you guys paid for. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> but that's the thing, like, I knew that he wouldn't move from that, but I guess he can move on either yeah. of those squares, yeah. which is, like, not a thing I've seen! Yeah. Oh, goodness. Um... I don't know if you want to bother getting it now, or... Just leave it, it's just a vulnerary. It's a vulnerary, but... <laughs> oh, I know, it's a chest, it's a chest, isn't it? It's a chest, damn it! Or just, guy, just right? send, like, Leonardo or someone. Yeah, it's just awkward. And this guy doesn't say whether escape is just arrive. There's escape for me. Easy, apparently, in victory is a different boss. Huh, interesting. So, apparently, we have a 10 turn, yeah, we have a 10 turn limit. Yes. I'm sure if we actually looked at the, uh, like, stuff that it would tell us. Mm hmm. Ugh, all so awkward. Yeah, I, like, totally did not notice this door, which is also sort of a problem. Yeah. It was worth it! You have... 15 attack. Well... She has two defense. This is perfectly safe. Yeah, I mean, you really have to lean on Nolan in these early chapters. Smack. Smack. Ah, okay, that guy just doesn't even move. That's good to know. Yeah, so I believe escape is, is basically, anyone else can, like, leave, and when Micaiah goes there, she finishes the map. Got it. Noted. And yeah, we're playing on normal. This isn't hard. Yeah, this by the normal. way, for the record. Sort of debating my options here. Mm -hmm. Probably best. Uh, do this. And I mean, if I was taking it a bit slower and steadier, it might be a bit easier for me to kind of get through all these things, but where's the fun in that? Alright. Save state. <sighs> yeah, now it's gonna be real obvious whenever I'm taking a save state. I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna hotkey it for this game. Mm -hmm. After the stream, I will I will hotkey so you just need to press a button. Yep. And we'll never know. The world may never know. See, so yeah, I'm probably just gonna keep Edward far, far away from this. Yeah? He's an innocent boy. This kind of carnage just ain't good for him. Can I heal up? Yeah. yeah. No, that was always the plan. I just wanted mm -hmm. to check how much damage he'd be doing. Huh, now you dodge. Oh, so, um, 
We do have battle saves in this game. Yeah, Wait. they do it. They are like this was the first Fire Emblem game to feature. And only that the battle saves uh, roll new seats when you reload them. Ah. So you don't. You can't actually reload for if you are that kind of save scummer. And believe me, you guys know I am. <laughs> have you right? met us? You met me. You know what I am. Uh, um. So, um, yeah, you can actually get different levels, and you can get different, if you miss or hit, you can reroll that. It doesn't keep the same seed like a lot of games do. Yeah. I'm gonna wait here so that I don't get attacked then by the boss. Mm-hmm. Uh, God, this is awkward. What does Edward do against the sword? I mean, I'm sure he's fine against him. Eight, eleven. Yeah. I guess actually he. I, I just want to know what he does against Nolan, and that's really the more important one. Yeah, if he lives, he'll almost certainly attack Edward here. So actually, this mm -hmm. should be fine. Yeah. Four sweets, stupid Edward. <laughs> Come on, Nolan, roll a level. Roll a level, buddy. Okay. Strike, strike <laughs> strength, dude. Strength, strength dude. is nice. It does. It is also an effective one up on his speed because this steel axe is 15 weight. Yep. So, always good to be aware of that sort of stuff. So yeah, Edward can uh, at least take a hit here. Yeah, so he'll just park it, and Makai will take a yep. pot yeah, we can shot. Just take long range pot shots at him. The nice thing is this is an actual standable square. Yeah. So, so when Leonardo comes around, Ragni. Thank you for the host. Thank you for the host. Welcome to Radiant Dawn. Welcome, yeah. Bring in Leo, just for shits. We've died in this chapter like five times now. Yeah, I remember this giving me the exact same kind of trouble. Mm. Oh god, yeah, this part is really difficult. Yeah, by the way, because we're at 8 health out of 20, Wrath does not activate there. Oh right, yeah, and units come from behind. Wink. But like you wanna get ten turns to do this yeah. anyway. So. No, I'm I'm just gonna finish this next turn. I just wanted I my Kiaya to get the uh the EXP here. She just refuses to get speed. I don't even know what her growth is. Got that steel sword though. I am just gonna immediately trade that over because I will forget otherwise. Okay, so yeah, apparently bonus XP works, like, there's a max amount of turns and after that your bonus XP is halved, and then if you exceed the one in the brackets, you get no bonus XP. You get nothing. Good day, so sir. So this is the last turn. Like, yep. if you ended on turn 10, you get nothing. Yeah. I have no idea if this means anything. No. I doubted it. No, it doesn't add bonus XP. I'm doing it anyway! Ah, 35%, so yeah, she's always gonna be quite slow. Yep. So we're getting chased down. I do like enemies spawning in late turns there to show them chasing you. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah, there's like a lot of nice little things. It just sort of falls apart in the grand scheme. Yeah, I don't think you guys are gonna blend in in the market. Mm oh, come on, kiddo. Go away, Nico. Moldy onions. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong about the curses. <laughs> This guy, he uses moldy onions as a, as a curse. That's amazing. It's like a mom curse right there, a dad curse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, until we start abusing uh, bonus EXP in this game. Mow them down. Can you tell these guys are evil? Can you tell these soldiers are evil? Yeah, and they may be evil. Nico! Nico! You really gonna be that scared of three archers? Nico! The five of us can take them. Yeah, they ain't gonna blame that's, the Dawn Brigade. That's not how that usually that's works. That's not no. how it works. <laughs> He's 
Step away from the dying child! Me in the back left. Touching his butt. Mm -hmm. The healing magic goes through the booty. It absolutely does. All this violence in front of a child. <laughs> that was sacrifice. No shit. <laughs> Only she possesses the skill of sacrifice with a capital. Well, S. later. <laughs> well, later, shit heals. That ain't fucking happening. You literally murdered one of our children. What do you think <laughs> is gonna happen? Yeah, what do you think is gonna happen here, buddy? Yeah, he literally just starts murdering the Just murders three out. people straight off. Can you tell this guy's evil? No. I think this guy might be a little evil. No, 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 no. Evil, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, to be fair, if you hadn't used it, only the kid would have died, right? not those three other people. Right? Yeah, we probably can't go back to the capital now. We will return someday. Cough, cough. We will return anon. Maybe he's just missing. This seems like a real sweetheart. Oh, God. Ah, finally! <laughs> yeah, took us, took us a little bit to get there. I mean, at least the chapters themselves and the story stuff is quick enough at the start. So, yeah, yeah, like... Bedron soldiers in this are about as comically evil as, as Dane. Dane soldiers were, were in the nine. first game. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Fire Emblem writers are very uh, right. subtle. <laughs> so subtle. Better steer clear of towns unless we want to do more fight scenes. Uh, yeah, buddy. That's what on. you signed up for, being a child soldier. Alright, come on. Or I hate name drop. Not Hello! Important. Hello, healer. Dawn Brigade, at your service. You really shouldn't announce that right? to people you've met like, right? for the first time, every oh, time. Oh yeah, we're, we're hunted by bad on soldiers, but yeah, I'm, we're the Dawn Brigade. That's <laughs> us. Um, I haven't actually played most no. of the newer Fire Emblem we, games, to I be honest. I haven't actually played a Fire Emblem game since this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've played Awakening. I never played um, Awakening. I haven't really played the ones for I had Awakening, that. I never played. Or Fantasy did. Ah, there we go. It's time for a sneaking mission, which does mean we'll be getting our Thief Jigen. Mm-hmm. Which is, like, again, a neat concept. I it like is. a lot of the stuff that the that uh, the first part of 10 does. Like, I don't really mind that this part of the game is hard. I mean, you know, it's quite annoying on stream to die yeah. a lot. Um, and really funny. Um, like, this part of the game is supposed to be hard. God, it just dumps us straight into this chapter here. At least why so yes, the victory condition game. in this one is specifically for Laura to arrive. She is our new healer. She's she is healer. also the affinity of this level, so she'll be getting some bonuses. Um... Yes, yeah, shove. I never actually checked if the others have other fun skills. Okay, so he has cancel, which Har had. Stops enemy counterattacks, which on an archer is not that useful. Yeah. Um, and Nolan has Nihil, which is actually pretty decent. Good boy. Yep. Wend. Oh, Ragni, you just noticed our next subscriber goal, Tales of Symphonia 2. Lord help us. I know. We're back on our bullshit. We're back on our bullshit. Back on our bulls. I have no idea what the game would be after Symphony 2, but I'm pretty sure we can think of bad sequels to games we like. Yeah. Six. Two. How much are you doing? Perfect. Doop. Nolan is just. Well, Nolan's like your pseudo Jigen here, at least until so your Beefkin shows up. I think it's like up. in nine, you could you could ignore Titania. You could just not have her do very much. Like, in, in this, Nolan is... Uh, is Straight up required. Tales of Symphonia 2 is terrible. Tales <laughs> is fucking terrible. <laughs> Fuck you, I played it for about 15 minutes and couldn't handle anymore. <laughs> it's terrible. What you got, Leonardo? 
I got speed. Hey, oh, that wasn't awful. Granny's revenge is fine. <laughs> this is the line we're drawing in the sand here. We did get a steel sword for Edward. Um, no, it doesn't. noting it has it 11 weight. It doesn't weights, have redeemable qualities. I'm eight, sorry. 11, it doesn't. Three. You're wrong. So yeah, he has nine effective speed with this. Worth being aware of. Mm. Um, which... God, even the axe guys have 10 uh. speed. And it's like, yeah, it's got seven hit, but he has 12. So yeah, like... It's it's a really weird setup. Like it really inverts a lot of the regular ways that these th that like Fire Emblem games tend to work. Well, like these enemies are not chumps. Yeah, exactly. And there's like a pretty good number of them too. Yeah, but all about as strong as you are are stronger. Yeah, at least your lower level characters. Yeah. Intruders, you say? Isn't on. Look go. Look go. And the intruders. Flay them. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened to me. I, I, I got minutes into Tales of 22 and the start bit is hilariously ah, bad. Ah, yes. That is a mechanic that we actually right just found. Oh, oh, hello. There we go. Yeah, Soth is actually currently unlocking doors within the place uh, and going around. But yes, one thing that you may not have noticed is that these walls that go up here have gaps in them and you can jump down them, which is fun. Which is neat. Well, can't look that gift horse in the mouth. Right? If... The real important thing here is just making sure nobody gets killed by this dude. Mm -hmm. Really, as long as I kill off one of these guys, I should be fine. Um, but they do have quite a lot of health. So. Yeah, like, and we are, we are weak. It's really the biggest thing here. So yeah, you do actually have to start like yeah, paying attention to stuff like this. Pull everyone back and block. That went off. Yeah, I mean, it's the question of who takes the doorway, though, because, um... And then they can't attack. Yeah. However, I can get, uh, her to heal up Edward. Um, this. Whee! <laughs> Die to the blade! Yep. Live to the blade, die to the blade. Um, yeah, I think it's actually better to probably pull back over this way and have someone who can take a hit from this dude's axe, mm -hmm. which should probably be Micaiah, because she'll at least be able to attack back, to attack him from here. Yeah. So that would be the thinking here. Yeah, um, yeah. Only issue is that Laura is standing on the spot. Basically, I fucked myself. Yeah, a little bit. Ugh, God. Why did they give the archer key? Ridiculous. Hmm. He has two defense, and he has 17 attacks, so you know what? <laughs> She'll live! Not dying. <laughs> Mildly important. Hope she's fast enough to take an attack from an axe user and not get double. Oh, right, yes. Something else about hard mode that it does that pisses my brother off completely is it stops you being able to do damage range. Right, you can't check the range that you enemies are at for no it. fucking reason. So you, you just have to do it manually and it's Which so is ridiculous. annoying. Why would you do that? So I, my brother was so annoyed at this game for doing that because he's like, ha! hey! Oh, uh, so. Oh! He did oh, double shit. attack. Sweet Jesus. Oh shit! <laughs> Yeah, if you play hey this, you! Nice. If you play it on hard mode, you do not, you cannot. We go as we do please. This mechanic. Basically, this game's way of doing a hard mode was to take out a bunch of mechanics. Yeah. Oh, does she just get passive healing from her staff? Yeah. All right. It also heals the wielder each turn. That's a new thing that they added. A lot of just random mechanics. But yeah, the, another random mechanic that they added is that uh, people Stay. with staffs equipped will actually use counter. them mm -hmm. to counter, like hit people with they them. They will biff them. And staves have no attack, which means that she was just attacking with three power right there. I mean, it, it, it's functionally useless, but it is fairly cool. That guy can replace this guy. Because, yeah, if you had a giant staff in your hand, you wouldn't just let an enemy whale on you, right? You know? Hey. Um, anyway. So Ah, that dude has a steel bow. 
Anyway, also worth noting that you really should pay attention, but we do in fact have Soth over here. Um... Yes! He is now spawned on the other side of the map. It was nice of him, I mm -hmm. suppose. <laughs> Lots of quality, yeah. So yeah, basically hard mode is just removing the convenience mechanics, and it's all terrible. And things Which like is the weird! Weapon, the weapon triangle, which is like a key part of Fire Emblem games, forever. Yep. There are just a lot of strange decisions in Radiant Dawn that I don't really understand. I don't remember if Nine also did that. Nine could have. I, I think I Nine might have, sure, but yeah. I don't know off the top of my head. Alright, I think this should make Laura safe. Um, ideally, we then just use her to heal someone else, because she'll heal herself every turn, so it's kind of a waste of a healing item. Apparently, she can shove Leonardo, which is fun. This dude with the steel bow, okay. Yeah, Nine didn't do anything like that. Nine basically gave you less experience, um, enemies with better stats, more enemies on the field, that sort of thing. Yeah, the, the usual hard mode stuff. Yeah. So anyway, Soth over here, uh, you'll notice that he is a level one rogue. I think a lot of people Thieves, were- surpassing of uh, surpassing like, A lot skill. of people like hard mode of Path of Radiance was easy. And the other thing you might notice about Soth is he is fucking busted. He is fucking busted. He Jesus. also has the card, which uh, has, which is basically like a higher Actually, crit isn't uh, version. Isn't it true that carrying over your Soth stats makes him worse? Does it? I guess it doesn't because it's just a flat upgrade. But like someone was saying that, but it can't be if it's a flat upgrade, right? Ah, yes. There we go. He also or has the card. Or is Soth the only one where his stats are carried over? I don't Soth's know. Weird. Soth is strange because he can't promote in the other game. Yeah. Is sort of the big thing with him. Something weird about Soth's carrying over. <laughs> Something weird about Soth. So yeah, Soth is actually the Jigen of this game. Uh, or at least of this part of this game. Okay, Soth stats... He is ridiculously overpowered for where he comes up in the game, and you can sort of see him tanking all these things. And it's kind of funny to have a thief Jigen. <laughs> Uh, but it's so also, like, weird. So stats are carried over if they're higher. Okay. Oh, And, and if it's level it. 20. Right, he has to be level 20. And, of course, his caps, being an unpromoted unit, are 20. Yeah. Which means that he can only have 20s in various stats. Yeah. But, yeah, as long as you hit 20, you will almost certainly uh, end up higher up with him, basically, is sort of the thing. He's, he's basically the only character where that direct carryover happens. The rest right. it is just a flat bonus. But yeah, if you look at him, it's sort of like, you know, 20 skill, 20 speed, 15 luck, 14 defense. So you can get some of that, like, some of those skills up, but it's not really going to be that much, honestly. Um, I am actually going to move Soth over to these guys, because we're kind of, we've actually kind of cleared this place out right now. Um, I am going to have her heal Nolan. Okay, apparently some people are saying that yes, you can get lower stats, like his traps are transferred over directly. That's weird. Um, I don't know for sure. I mean, we right. didn't max out our Soth, so we can't say anything Yeah, we sure. did, this playthrough did not use Soth, like, at all, like, more Soth or less, so... Brave weird. New World. Anyway, I'm going to get Nolan North up here to try to get some of them to attack him. Continue to have the Hand Axe equipped. Um, and kind of just see what comes, you know? We've basically been stuck in this corner for the entire map so far. There we go, that guy comes down. Do seven damage to Nolan, and then you missed! My dude! This archer chasing Soth down seems like a bad decision. Nolan totally would be voiced by Nolan North. Burglars on the loose! Burglars on the loose! I don't know if Nolan's dashing enough. What color is her hair? The silver haired maiden! If only I had told you all about her. Only it was an unusual hair color. 
I mean, really, with people with like blue and red and green hair, silver is like the. That's the one you notice. That's the weird one. Uh, yeah, Edward is still kind of crap oh, right yeah, now. Oh yeah, that's right. When self promotes, his luck cap goes down. <laughs> This game has some weirdness, that's for certain. Yeah. I assume this boss moves, but he's also, like, quite slow, so... I mean, look, like, there's some weirdness with bosses moving in this one. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm gonna let that guy hurt himself on me. Okay, the boss... this guy says the boss doesn't move. Okay, interesting. Would not have guessed that off the top of my head. Yeah, there is some weirdness with bosses, even though there's not a square this boss is not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely gonna need a patented Nolan or it's softening. Or not supposed to, so I guess we'll <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's sort of the, uh... <laughs> the takeaway from this. The... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. By the way, uh, if you were, like, up one of these ledges like this, you can actually attack down into it. Yes, but you get, um... There's a hit, a massive hit, um, thing. So it's plus 50 if you're above, minus 50 if you're below. Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's a huge, uh, hit. Hit, hit. Hit to hit. <laughs> huge hit to hit. Who knows if the guys are right when it comes to this game? This game is... That's the fun part. It's a learning experience for everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Like, nobody knows how soft carryover works. All right, let's hope that Laura doesn't just get fucking sniped because this dude refused to move for three turns. Yeah. Everyone except the boss is supposed to move, so... Okay. You know the bonus EXP for this chapter is 10? Like 10 turns? 10 turns. Well, I think you're supposed to run up those hills like that and just take what comes. Oh, you poor fucker. F 15 is the max for any bonus you. Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess those guys just aren't, um, I don't know. I mean, Nolan can go up and give them what for. Nah, I'll probably just go around, because there are some chests over here that I want to grab. Mm. Is up, my arms. Uh, the boss and a chest. Ah. And also, you know, the exit point. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why neither of these soldiers decided to move. I guess this guy might... I guess they might... also don't? Lord knows. Yeah, I, I like, um... SRPs that, that use height mechanics. Most of them do. Mm-hmm. Most of them have explicit height mechanics. Yeah, mm -hmm. Fire Emblem was definitely pretty late in the game to adding explicit height mechanics. Mm -hmm. Oh, Edward. Yeah, oh, yeah. Soth's bag is totally labeled swag. Mm-hmm. Boy, look at it, that. Unquestionably. Mm-hmm. Ah, the support bonuses. That is one thing we haven't gotten into and that we'll get very mad about once they're, like, properly introduced. But, uh... Let it be noted for now that Mikaya and Soth have a... a support with each other right now. And you can actually see explicitly what the bonuses they're getting for being close Which to each is, other are. Which is good. I like that. Yeah. That's good. But anything that gives you more info about the numbers is always good. More better numbers. Love it. All right, I'm going to see if I can lure that one soldier down while everyone else is sort of just doing their thing. And Soth's going to shove Leonardo, because that's how I feel today. I want to nope. shove that boy sometimes. <laughs> nope. Yeah, you can see that we have a 100% hit, and that guy has, like, jack shit. Yep. And, and he yet, still hits. And yet... Leonardo is Leo, having some trouble. Leo is having such trouble. Luckily, we finally have a fucking healer, so... You're no, we're nowhere near as much danger as we were before. Does this guy even have anything on him? I haven't even checked. He has a vulnerary. Soth, I believe, does have steel. Um, yeah, steel as a bo as mm -hmm. a base skill. Yep. So it is worth checking to see. Like, we could be stealing all of the vulneraries and shit. This guy also has a chest key, so actually, yep. I can kind of just send Soth up this way. Yep. Although I'm not sure I want him to kill this guy off. 
Sacrifice! This guy has 10 speed CP. Uh, so sacrifice is sort of neat to have a, a gameplay mechanic based on the story, but functionally it's kind of useless. Because you're very unlikely to ever want Makaya to chunk her own I think HP. this guy is going to live. If I'm wrong about that, then I'm just trying to do math too quickly, and that's life sometimes. Maths is for blockers. No, you dodge. No, you dodge, buddy. You're at turn eight right now. Um, let me see. This guy has an iron sword and a chest key. You also see that iron swords are like 50 uses. They massively up. Yeah, all of count. all of the items are like way, way more now than they base. This guy's got 13 speed to Leo's 11 speed. He's actually like not in super mega danger, although yeah. we will need someone else to be down with him mm -hmm. to make sure that he can. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Doc! Doc! Thank you so, so much for the Thank host. You. We're, uh. We're playing a game. We're playing Radiant Dawn, our first sub goal. Lord help us. Our, our beautiful subs are making us play this game. We love you all. You fuckers. You fuckers. We love every one of you fuckers. Yep. Yeah, this is sort of an awkward thing, because I actually think this guy could totally kill Micaiah if he had the chance. So. Yeah, she doesn't get any for yeah, if you have nothing else to do, you just sort of, um, start back and forth healing. <laughs> you have to donate everything to get us to fight Ridley. <laughs> but you have a new sub goal for an even worse game. Yeah, I'm gonna take another save state here, just for safety's sake. We actually managed to die, like, three or four times on chapter one. I think it's, oh, the thing I didn't mention about battle save is if this is the first game that did it, and it is a permanent save file. It's not like um, the GBA games which let you suspend the map and then reload it. It is a permanent save file, so it is basically battle Fucking save. Fucking yoink! Nice. Wasn't doing anything else. Battle save is basically a save state, but in the game. Yeah. A save state, but in real life. Oh, so now you fucking attack. Nobody remembers half these characters. That's because the Dawn Brigade's the only place that has any new characters. <laughs> oh, Leo. Yeah, well, that was kind of what I expected. Blackjack attack. Thank, Thank you, you for, for the, the follow. follow. Yeah, that guy just lived. Nice. Yeah, so now we're actually in a sort of awkward situation here. Yeah. We'll see. We'll make it work. Ah, okay. Then in that case, it's actually more efficient to attack this dude directly. Luckily, she has a hundred, so this yep. isn't actually all that no risky. Game. No danger. Um, and then he steals the chest key. Yeah, so he trades the chest key over, and then starts. I can also see that we have like seven inventory slots instead of. Uh, they basically four. combined all of the inventory, yeah. like that it used to be weapons on one side and uh, uh, items, armor, on items on the other. It's By the way, combined. these two are both bows. Um, uh, that guy finally decided to move. I'm a little bit worried about moving Edward over here. You have a vulnerary. Oh, <laughs> I know you don't have a vulnerary on we you. I it. have that vulnerary. You stole it. It's our vulnerary. I wonder if you'll now. steal it from the boss. Legit curious. Yeah, we don't actually have to beat the boss here. No, this is an arrive chapter the, the specifically goal for is Laura. Just Laura has to get to that square. All right, I am going to have Nolan equip the hand axe here to help him deal the with these. The top dudes. right chest does have an energy drop in it. That was kind of what I figured. Uh, I'm also going to bring him back down, and this dude who has the steel bow has 21 attack and 10 speed properly, so. Laura ain't going anywhere near Soth this nope, turn. Nope. No, thank you. I will miss a turn of healing for that. That's okay. Yeah, so that guy's gonna chase him down. The other soldier, I think, will run away, but if he doesn't, then he'll die. I'll probably just have Soth kill the Steel Bow guy, because he's actually kind of a problem right now. Yeah. There we go. That's the kind of shit that I'm looking for. Yep. Yeah, we do want to try and get Nolan to the boss if we can, because he's. Probably the best place to take him on, apart from Soth. Yeah, I think it's basically you kind of have to use Soth for that. Um, 
is higher level, so I'm just gonna leave her down. Got a wind edge, which is fun. Nice. Magic blade, one to two. Yeah, the you get magic swords way, way quicker oh, in this game. Yeah. Basically, they wanted to just throw... Like, there are just a fuck ton of mechanics and other shit. And ah, got, perfect uh, that she, she owned that. Yeah. Yes, that is a... Actually, that is her rapier. Yep. That is her unique spell uh, that is effective against armored and horse units, and only mm -hmm. she can use. Only she can use it. Useful. Oh, yeah. Sure hope you don't fucking miss. Right? Right? All right, I'm gonna just... Just again, because yeah, we because need... he has missed like five billion times already for us. Like, you wouldn't just... think that a true hit eighty percent would be a problem, but right? <laughs> Leo is just the missy kind of guy. I'd probably send um, sword, sword McNugget. <laughs> sword McNugget. <laughs> don't don't deal with him and Nolan up. Sword McNugget. <laughs> Saying that. Sword <laughs> McNugget. Oh. Uh. Uh. And I'm gonna keep moving this forward at least till we get to the boss. Ah, stupid internet. Yeah. We're gonna have to keep that router. Yep. If it keeps <laughs> going. <laughs> Well, I'll have to say that Laura got a strength up. Nice. Ugh. Internet's back, at least. Yeah, it's back. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to kick it out there, and if not, call up the internet guys again. Possibly, um, hard to say. This is it. Uh, yeah. Don't disagree. Okay, actually. Perfect range here for the babies to take care of them. There it there is. There we go. We don't really want her too far away. We really need her to go there. And um, we probably want to do that before turn 50. Suppose I'm not too worried about bonus XP. Okay. I don't think it's that much. Yeah, we should be back now. Sorry about that. Sorry, guys. I don't know why the internet, the internet is flipped earlier, but it's been fine for like an hour and a bit. Yeah. He's gonna stay, because it's not like he can really do anything to these guys. Uh, Nolan North over here is gonna just go up this way. Boop. Push Soth. Oh, is this is this another game where Japanese hard was normal difficult? <laughs> that sounds about right. We never complain about this game being too easy. Yeah. I know, I guess people did complain about ra Path of Radiance being too easy. For some reason. Yeah, hard as Maniac. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. I found this game just too hard, but back when I was playing this game, I had a thing about playing games on easy. I don't think I have as much of that anymore, but... When years ago did this game come out? 2007? A bit. A bit um, of years. So like 11 years ago, I was... Uh, mm, I was a bit over an idiot teenager, but close. <laughs> uh, no, I wasn't an idiot teenager. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't even remember my own age. 2007? Yeah, I would have been a stupid idiot teenager. I would have been ancient. I was an idiot teenager. So, you know, as an idiot yeah, teenager so on bad. the internet, you couldn't play games on easy mode. Right. Not allowed. Oh, nice. Convenient. You can't play games on easy, so you play it on normal and it's too bloody difficult. Yep. Alright, what I'm going to do here is put Nolan in range of both the boss and this guy so I can mm. get that shit going. Mm -hmm, yeah. God, like, the Lance user has the 72% hit chance and it's like, ugh. Yeah, the weapons triangle, they messed, they messed it up, making. Sir, you seem to have a bit of a fixation. Still misses with the 70% chance, which, I mean, hey, I ain't gonna complain. Yeah, this guy attacks Nola, or Leonardo, Leonolo. Yeah, Path of Radiance is, is an easy game because you have so many good units. We did that with the, when we did the challenge run. There's so many good units. 
go. So Edward gets that kill. I am going to move Leonardo up and hopefully put her within one of the boss range. I'll just let Nolan and or Saw. Ah. Okay. Beautiful. That's a that's a safe state that's definitely Perfect. happening to keep that. I have no honor. All right, let's move Leo up and heal him and get Laura near that square. Yep. Ah, good. I love it when everything works literally perfectly. I love perfectly. it when a plan comes together. It's actually, you can actually make, like, if you do not get good levels with these guys, you you can get fucked. They like, kind this, of this, suck if you don't. This part basically. of the game can suck so much ass if these characters uh, do not okay. do well. Okay, so if he does that, and then Nolan 16, should be able to uh, kill him. Yeah. That works or not, too. that works. I'm fine with this. That works. All for Reinhardt. I love Reinhardt. And then Nolan just sort of stands here awkwardly. Anyway, oh, no. next turn we should be able to... Yeah, grab the chest, and then I, I don't think she's close enough. If not, we shove her. But yeah, that energy drop is, is worth it. Biff. Boff boof. All right, and there we go. Arrive! Shame I can't use my healer to just get a little extra EXP before it ends because she actually has to finish the map. Mm -hmm. Wait for me here as I raid this storeroom. Mm -hmm. None of you can do this with me. Nope. <coughs> but yeah, I mean, the other thing about it is that the cast of this game is just so fucking massive and they're yes. all shoehorned yes. in really weirdly that yes. some characters are just unusable. I mean... Path of Radiance is about the same number of characters as the most Fire Emblem game, right? Big cast, most of the characters you don't even use because mm -hmm. they come too late or a bit awkward or you've already got a better name, whatever. Yep. And then this game has all of those characters apart from Largo. Mm -hmm. And then adds a whole Yeah, and adds like more. this whole new party to it and a bunch of others. You sensed me, didn't you? It's me, hey, the evil guy. Hmm, you saw through my ruse. Nikaya, I got kidnapped. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Probably shouldn't have gone in this storeroom totally alone. Fly away, Hoon. Fly away, you weird little bird. I'm sure it isn't important. God, that guy's got such a square face. I know. He's he's very evil. Look at that. I mean, Jared... I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, so he's very much a, a Fire Emblem villain-looking guy. Jared, if we didn't have that scowl on his face, wouldn't it? Mm. Hey, he's he's kind of got that sort he's of long-in-the-face look that some... He's got an evil smirk. He definitely doesn't have the recurring villain kind of face. He he's got the square jaw. He's got, like, the Chapter 5 boss that you kill and then never think about yeah, again kind of yeah. look to him, mm -hmm. to be honest. Mm -hmm. Looks like a character from old Gundam's another good way to put it. <laughs> I have faith. Oh, hi, Amy. Uh, hey. Do you notice you're bleeding? What are you doing here, Hen? Oh, no, I'm fine. And there we go. Uh, hi, Eliana. Why are you here? She travels with them. Yeah. Doesn't really have much agency of her own. All right. Great. Well, that doesn't sound good. This game is definitely... Oh, wait! They Hello. have another prisoner in here. Hello! Who we certainly don't recognize. Hmm. Yeah, Radiant is very much, uh, more is not better. Yeah. I'll give it a shot. Ah, sounds about right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm using a strange controlled substance. <laughs> 
this, uh, this story mode definitely does kind of uh, drop a bunch of previous characters. Yeah. On you, not just Soth. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, Soth will recognize Amy, hi. I remember you. Hi. That's like her whole character trait. He's just very, very thirsty. And you will notice that characters are very, very one note in this game. Mm -hmm. If they were one note in the previous game, who, buddy? Oh, no. Oh, sure you don't know why you were imprisoned, man. That's why you wear a cloak and hide your identity. Mm-hmm. Oh, buddy. You know exactly well, why Kurt, you were imprisoned. Well, Kurth, after you. I'm a slightly shady and suspicious character. Mm-hmm. Shall we go for one more chapter here? I hate this chapter. Yeah, let's do it. This chapter was the bane of my fucking existence for this part of the game. That's fair. I think because I got a slightly... I actually got a bad... I had a good Nolan, mm. but a bad... Um, I, can't, I can't actually remember the sword. Edward! Edward. And I got a really bad Edward. How strange. Why would a Benyon soldier mention me? You people are idiots! <laughs> the prisoners are escaping. There are so many units on this map. Yeah. This is chapter four of the this game. This is chapter four. Four! This is what we're gonna do is slightly longer in Radiant Dawn streams because uh, it's a longer game. It's a long game. Yeah. Yeah, so, so we'll that, probably do this chapter and possibly one other depending on how this our goes. Our aim is somewhere between two and three hours. Yeah. A staff for ya, sister. This one is very hey, annoying. Hey, I could fight too, by the way. So I have to imagine this might take us into that nearly three hour limit because it's a... Uh, <laughs> Wrong type of light. <laughs> you know this. You know her. You know this. <laughs> you know I can't read. You know I can't read. I but yeah, I mean, we do at least now have two mages in our party. This mage we, we used. And our Jigen. Even lazier. Makaya, we won Ileana to be fine. You look a little woozy. No, that's normal. No. She's fine. <laughs> she's fine. And she's, she's, you know, she's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's her whole character right that was, there. That was her whole character in nine. It was pretty much, yeah. As hungry as ever. And this is her whole character in ten. Because she doesn't have support, so these will be, nope. like, basically the only conversations that she yep. has. Hey, don't mind me. Yeah, these two are uh, non-like playable characters, and you can see that they're set labeled as independent. We get defeated if any ally dies, which means that basically if Amy or Kurth die, or obviously Micaiah, mm -hmm. we lose. We lose. Good day, sir. Yep. Um, I believe... Yes, uh, Micaiah can in fact direct this. Yep. So we want to get Look down how here. how many enemies there are. We got Burton here, who has the discipline skill, but he is not dropping it, which means that we need to get Soth to steal it from him. Um, definitely some shit to keep in mind. There's a herb, vulnerary, mostly not important stuff, especially now that we have a proper healer. Um, I believe we can actually kill off... Uh, or like steal weapons off of people again in this game, but I don't yeah. quite remember. So we, we want to keep um, Laura near the top, right? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> because we do get another character to remember. Ah. And we have to talk to him with Laura. Got yeah, it. yeah, our next sub goal is Tales of Symphonia 2. <laughs> do it to us, you know you want to. Yeah, it should be mentioned that this is a sub game. This is a sub goal game. Yeah, Ready and Dawn's a sub goal for 40. It was our first sub goal. Nine, and he's got a Steel Axe, so he's actually like slow as fuck, which means his effective speed is for five. I'm sure um, we'll never run out means... of terrible sequels to games we like. Okay, yes, we can double with the steel sword. That was a lot of math just to make sure that I could actually do that <laughs> shit. Yeah. Um, 
So you'll see that we actually, there like aren't really choke points here, even though it kind of looks like there might be. Yeah, uh, that's not the worst thing, because you have Soth and Nolan here. No, 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 no. Our, our sub goals are playing terrible sequels to games we like. That's that's that's, that's basically the, the brand here. That's the brand. That's the theme. We, we only play good games. By choice. By choice. <laughs> um, uh, if I have a choice of like, ooh, do I want to play, you know, Fire Emblem 7? Or do I want to play Radiant Dawn? Fuck you, it's seven. How many subs to play Dragon Quarter? Oh. <laughs> this guy has a javelin. I didn't despise Dragon Quarter, but I also didn't beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably tells you enough. No, it's just a bit weird rather than outright bad. Uh, incidentally, Ileana is a Thunder Mage because they differentiated them, but she mm -hmm. is level 12. It's definitely weird that there are probably fewer, okay, sunshine like, Sunshine is, is a possibility. Um, See, like, I don't hate Sunshine. Oh, fair, yeah. Like, I think it's a bit clunky, but, I mean, Mario 64 is also a bit clunky. Yeah. Yeah, I have a copy of Dragon Quartz. Yeah, it was a weird game. Strange game, only many moves not to play. So you'll uh, see with the Thunder Mage that she, yeah, can only use Thunder Tomes in this game. She forgot all the other ones, basically. Yeah, Spikes will speedrun uh, Sunshine at 15,000 subs. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We know our, our 200 sub goal is 100% speedrun of Odyssey. So that one's already sorted. Yeah, we are, we are definitely aware of that bullshit. Mm, that, that's there. Like yeah, the latest Tales is Berseria. Latest one. Yep. Mech. Nolan. Nolan! <laughs> the game really doesn't Aww, give you any units like that can Zestiria. actually People properly... I shit on Zestiria, and I really ah, like crit. that game. Zestiria does a lot of things right, and it tries really hard. I can't... I can't hate it. These two have a support. This knight attacking Soth is at least going to live, I'll give him that. Now, unfortunately, there are two mages in artillery, Yeah, but, but Surrey is good, and the protagonist's default costume is bad, is accurate. <laughs> yeah. Ah, hello there. Ah, so that's him. I, I thought he was supposed to be in the top right, but yeah, I weird. guess I guess he's there. <laughs> he's recruitable. Yep. You don't say. The guy with the unique thing and uh, all that. Affiliation. Occupying army. Luckily, he has a javelin, which should make it a lot harder for him to kill himself. Yeah. Um, by the way, Thanny has, criti has, like, critical against knights and horses, so, uh... You can fucking blow them up. Yeah, sure, in Berseria they allow you to change the default costume, but then it's the costume that's in all of the um, skits. It's and, and the stuff, skit yeah. cost the, the Berseria does this really cool thing where a lot of the cutscenes are the skit stuff with the yeah. portraits and everything. It's really neat, really good, but it's always with our fucking boob window. Yeah. Basically, it ain't great. I, uh, I really do not 11. like Velvet's costume at all. It's awful. Horrible. It honestly makes... It's a part of the game I really do not like. Even though the rest of the game is really, really, really good. Yeah. The studio had way better uh, female costumes. And female outfits. Rose's outfit's great. You doing maths? Yep. I was thinking more of just where I would go after this. Mm -hmm. Um... Nolan probably heals himself. No one has a boob window. Don't don't even go there. No, I'm not taking that as an excuse for anything. There are no female characters that have boob windows. Like, oh yeah, like it's the the Metal Gear Solid one. Oh yeah, the, the quiet. Quiet totally wears the outfit skin. because of all the sort of skin. <laughs> like, no. I'm not rationalizing that outfit away. It's pure, you can't. It's, it wasn't made because she chose that outfit. She's a fictional character. Men chose that outfit. That guy actually can attack that square. Fine, I'll move here, her here, and hopefully, what's his name will be in range. Although honestly, this is safer. Alternatively, I just move Thoth up to Irish. I'm sure this can't possibly go badly for us. <laughs> never. It'll never go badly. 
We do have a door key, so like the way to do the to like kind of cheese this level is to sneak out the right side. Yep. Mm -hmm. Why do that? You need to recruit this dude first of all. I always wish Nolan had more speed. Yep. Rip this guy. Yeah, that guy's dead. There we go. Perfect. So, this is Aaron. And if we have a quick chat with him... I can't believe it. It is you. Why? Laura. But why? But why? I mean, look at him. He looks like a sullen git. <laughs> oh, I'm sulking. With his lime green hair. Mm. Nope, you're coming with me. You're coming with us. Turn traitor. Oh, bother. I can do it, buddy. I can't support it. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I also hate when they try to justify, like, horny character design. This is the only character Aaron gets. Mm-hmm. I honestly got I don't even know if half these characters get dialogue after like Yeah, I mean that's role. also like that's the standard Fire Emblem thing where like a bunch of your characters sort of just don't But at least they have supports. Yeah, but yeah, but you're meant to get it in the support conversations, basically. Oh, that would be... I wouldn't. Oh. If the, this guy is actually completely blocking this pathway. Ah. Yeah. Honestly, that's a murderer, that's so dude. God, Leonardo, you're killing me. You're tearing me apart, Leo. Works. Mikaya basically just becomes a cannon. Right, and there's like a shrub growing here in this doorway for whatever reason. Yeah, that's where you grow shrubbery, right? In yeah. doorways. Twelve, eight, he might die. <laughs> he might die. Save state, save state, save state. Yeah, I'll have to figure out a way to arrange all this so that the uh, chat is viewable even when I'm doing save state shenanigans. Well, like I said, when I hotkey it, you won't need to do that anymore. That's fair. I do want him in this thicket. In the thicket things. Thicket, thick. See, we have the same, exact same hit as the enemy. Both of us had 68 hit. That is not a thing in most Fire Emblem ones. Yep. And I guess it's because this is actually hard mode. Ah, I should have moved him away because that would have given him less attack and he probably wouldn't have killed that guy. Okay. Noted. Yeah, Leo is, uh, whoo doggy. Yeah. Got some issues. Does at least kind of make their movement all awkward and shit. And then we can just bring our mages in and blow up the knights. It's like I can't even really put them in range of the uh, attack guys in case they do move. Oh, there's the boss. That might be a problem. Uh-oh. Like a hot knife through cold butter. Well, maybe not. <laughs> yes, when, when you dig down into anime games and why women are dressed like that, the reason is actually it's always, always a, a man guy. decided to make her that way. Yep. I mean, luckily this guy's on a horse, which means that Micaiah can probably do some serious damage to him. We are sort of, uh... About to die. Yeah. Interesting. 
Why didn't? Yeah, why didn't he attack Nolan? I don't know. I mean, he has a bow, right? Right. But he should have attacked stood, Aaron. Like, right here, or yeah, or attacked Aaron. I'm yeah. I don't have an answer for why that just happened. <laughs> well, so anyway, how much damage do you do? Oh, Sunny. Yeesh, she's doing 15 okay, fucking damage. He's dead. Yeah, no, I am. He's dead. Yeah. I am just gonna handle you know, this just, problem before it comes die. up. I'm just gonna kill it. Just I'm just gonna. gonna there's there's a lot of day. A lot of dying and being dead has a to happen here. So dead. let's just yes, save yes, state at the yeah. start of this. See if we can survive through this turn. Mikaya getting doubled is sort of just par for the course. Yeah, because he has a wind engine. Yeah. So he's a magic sword. Yes, and Micaiah is still taking 15 damage from that, which is wild. But you're not really supposed to go down this way. Yeah, a little bit. If you have shit to steal, I don't care. Oh yeah, he had the scroll to steal. What was it? Uh, discipline? Ah, oh, okay. Let what does that one have? Let me look at what it is. Yeah, I mean, we do we have, have a safe state right before. Yeah. Uh, like... Steal the items, discipline, hand axe, and vulnerable hurt. Yeah. Oh. Increases the rate of gaining weapon EXP. Oh boy. That's probably how, decent. How will we live without that one? Well, we don't have to live without yeah. it. You know we're probably gonna die if soft like steals, right? Yep. Uh, One way to find out though. Alright. Load it. What a what a useful and good skill that I'm definitely that it is definitely worth me doing this for. You probably want Ilyana in the front now. Hmm. I mean, Ilyana is probably the tankiest unit other than. Uh... Which is hilarious. Like your boy Nolan and so. I'll probably put Soth like right here. Hmm. Is mm -hmm. sort of my thought here. Yeah. Um. So if I just kill this guy off, which not not all that difficult, it turns out. Yeah, it's more... Uh, discipline would be more useful in Path of Radiance, where... Where it's just fucking impossible to level your weapons. Yeah. Sure. Anyway, now she murders this guy. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. Still gets the support, which is why she's able to kill him. Mm -hmm. She's currently the most tanky unit because she's level 12. Yeah. More <laughs> than anything. Now we need to kill... It's mostly down to whether we want Nolan or uh, Aaron taking these attacks. I mean, he has 11 defense, about, he has um, 9 defense. Moving Laura in range of those hand axes and jumping. Right, so the, basically I'm going to step some, either one of these two on this square here. Um, and in doing that, I'm going to block off the majority of these people. So can she take one hand axe to the face then? Her? Probably fine. She's not going to be near it is the thing. Like, she's oh. going to move like here or here or here. Um, she moves oh, she, there. She can't hear where, where Micaiah is. 19. Um. It's like, even if you, if you move to where Aaron is to heal Nolan, she'll right. get hit. Right, so Nolan's just gonna vulnerary then. Okay. Yeah. It's mostly down to which one I think is more likely to survive the attacks. Uh, Nolan, probably, I would guess. I mean, he does. Aaron does have more oh, uh, defense, defense yeah. versus Nolan's nine, but then Nolan has the more health. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of an odd question. If anything, it may come down to like dodge, um, where he has twenty nine and he has also twenty nine. Very useful. So he has twenty seven effective health. 
gonna take another state right here, because I think we can totally live through this. Mm-hmm. Um... As well. I think the play here would be to try to. Yes, a Walmart. No, I wasn't even trying to trade there. Um. See how greedy I can get that guy. <laughs> you know. Boop. And now we'll see who dies. Yep. Well, that's a strong start. All right. <laughs> All right, buddy, you go for you go for him. <laughs> you do you. That helps. Honestly, mm -hmm. that that move alone basically wins us the round here. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna do that, and like now now all those guys can't attack us, and suddenly we have both mages available again. Yep. So it's like, uh, congratulations. Hello. At this point, um. Useless. <laughs> you usually do ones. Woo! Someone has a steel bow, right? Yeah, Soth does. Um. <laughs> now the fun part. I start doing Maxon. stupid shit for Min no Maxon reason. for super shit. Dumb bullshit what doesn't even work. Right? That's the name of the game. He might do 18 damage to Ileana. He did do 18 damage to Ileana. Huh. Useful. What I'm going to do is direct these two over to, like, your... I mean, we'll clear this area out after that, so that should be fine. Guys, like, all the enemies have way too much speed for my slow, sad party here. That guy's got eight speed. This guy has 13 defense, and Leo has 14 attack, which is like, God, help me. Um... Probably better to just kill this guy off. Pretty sure to get the uh, true, quote unquote, true ending needs to be on a new game plus. That I would not say surprised by to learn <laughs> such things. Or at least there's very there's an extra bit, um, which I believe you can only get in a new game plus. Because I believe it opens up more options during the game. That right. Option. Yeah, I believe that is correct. That there is in fact a thing like that. Such things do, in fact, exist. He doesn't die, so that's good. Yeah, well, he was terrible. Not great. God, all of our mages. Y'all need to stop. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Get help. <laughs> I'm being a wuss here, but like 71% chance. Just want to finish this fucking map up. Yep. 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 Worthless! Yep. That boy is not helpful. Honestly, if you were playing this game, you would just battle save and then do that. Probably. So yeah. you're just making it. We're just taking a little bit less just time. Speeding it up a little bit, yeah. yeah. Careful, because that knight is gonna. He can't reach us, actually. Oh, good, um, I'm still debating it though, because there's just a lot of healing going on. I'd rather he just attack Edward here. Yeah. Instead. Take two. Guess I didn't roll any RNGs there. No, because you're, you're yeah, you're loading a save state, not yeah. loading a. I'll see. Yeah. No, I just forgot that I like didn't get into a fight or anything. Yeah. Alright, well, at least here, if he misses, it'll be, like, 
you know, someone else can do something. As opposed to the before where he was like fucking useless. Fucking useless. You know, Does healing not? No. Huh. I didn't actually know that. Yeah, it's just fighting. Well, fuck you, guy. Just healing doesn't have a hit rate. Yeah. Annoying. Yes, this guy goes and attacks Edward, and we get the two attacks in, and now he's at three! Hooray! I'm proud of us. So very proud. Yeah, so we're all at level seven right now, which is fun. You know, I think it's... Here we go. Iron I... Oh, right! Longbows have levels in I this game. I don't believe he moves, though. Right, because he's on the square. He's on the square, so he it's should like this, stay put. This dude with the hand axe is the furthest out. Um... I do remember Leo just being this way. Oh yeah, so the bonus EXP for this one is also 10 turns. This guy has... 10 speed. Yeah, it's too bad everyone's trash. Iron isn't terrible, I, I don't particularly remember him, to be honest. I completely forgot him. That's really the bigger I, thing that I you'll forever, find with this game. I forever forget, um, Swordman McNugget's name. <laughs> Edward's name, I always forget his name. Swordsman, did you just call him Swordsman McNuggets? Yes. Again, yes. That's... Okay. Again, I called him that earlier. I mean, right. And we laughed, and it was fun. I know, I, I, yeah, I, I forget his name. Honestly, like, I forgot Laura. The only one I remember yeah. is Nolan. Yeah, that's fair. I think fair. that's because Nolan is the only one I kept using. He's the only one who, like, has dialogue and stuff outside of Soth and Micaiah. Yeah. I guess that's really the biggest thing here. You know, it does kind of look like an, uh, Fire Emblem Black Bear. Oh, Leo has 40% strength with 35% speed. That is terrible for an archer. Yeah, and it's like, if you're not doing damage, like, and doubling, what are you doing as an archer? Right? Actually, order them to get to, to fuck us up even more. Yep, mm-hmm. That is one nice thing they added from this game. If your commander is not, uh, like, it, like, if your commander is stopped moving, you actually can still just click on them and issue orders with them. Which is nice. What? What happened there? I could have sworn what? <laughs> that I was alright there. My fault. Not. Apparently on, on like. easy mode, um, this is also a defeat the boss. Ah, okay. Here's what I'm gonna fucking do. So this'll fucking wake him up. No, I guess it's stored in the- He is, uh, he is literally uh, unkillable. This man. I suppose it's a bit like, um, Tactics of Mass 2 and it's just stored in that attack. To re-roll it, you would have to battle it. No. I mean, I could do, but at this point, fuck it. Yep. God help me. What here? 12. Fine. Lord help me. Huh, eh, kind of is not terrible. I mean, she's kind of bad for like, now? Sp right, like speed and stuff. You basically yeah. can only ever use her as a, uh, like, run in, bomb someone to death, and kill them. And she's not even good at that because yeah. she has low speed. Is sort yeah. of the thing. Like, ma if a magic user has magic and speed, they're pretty much set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Huh. 
thing is, at some point you'll get Soren back, and at that point, why would you ever... Case OS, thank you for the follow. Thank you. Why would you ever have need another magic user? Probably? Yeah, basically. So was it that axe guy that came in? Yeah, it was that axe dude. And I was like, I had him attacking her on purpose. Like, ah. that was... I just thought she could survive the turn, was the issue. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, my mistake. Magic, magic, Finally, magic. once we start getting the magic bows, magic, baby. Magic, magic, magic. Lord help me. God, at this point I'm just terrified of everything. <laughs> ah, Shadow Hearts 3, yeah. Keyword. Kind of harsh is a cool set of game. Yeah, no strength this time. But he was always gonna be bad. Just a question of how bad. Get that herb going. Death speak. Thank you Thank so so you. much for the resub. Keep forgetting to give Edward that magic sword. Nine whole months. I'm sure there's a joke I could make here, but I can't possibly imagine what that would be. Me neither. But thank you so much. Oh, gotcha. Didn't used to be able to. Ah, okay. Can, they've opened it up a bit. You can, uh, they put an option in so you can share, turn off right. the HDMI encryption. Right. That's what stops you. Makes sense. Yeah, you can you can bonus EXP him eventually, and that was also why I moved those ones. Cause yeah, eventually some fuckers show eventually, up. Eventually, yep. This dude didn't move. Can you see like we're on chapter what? This is map four. I believe so. It's, ch it's chapter three, but yeah, there's map, a prologue. Map number four. And it's taken us two and a bit hours already because these maps have so many enemies and they're so deadly. Yeah, there's just a lot of clearing out to do and it's really hard to like move at a faster speed most of the time. Uh, okay, these guys are both sword dudes. This dude has a steel lance. The only thing to be careful of is that this guy has like Mondo rain. That's right, boys. Mondo rain. I think they decided that because they were returning all of the um, Path of Radiance characters, a lot of whom have very conventional growths, mm -hmm. that the Dawn Brigade had to have like something to make them a bit different. Well, that's the whole like this whole section of the game is just weird in the stuff that they're having. You know, your Jagan is a thief. Weird. Your characters are all like your lord's a mage. Your, your lord's a mage. You're super fucking low level. It does, it does really build up a sense that you are, um, a ragtag, uh, group that is on the back foot. Yeah. Like, you never really got that sense of the Grail mercenaries. Yeah. Which also made sense, because they were mercenaries. They were actually trained, trained soldiers. to fight. This does feel like a group of people who aren't soldiers, who, who are having to rise up and fight. It's... It's hard and it's annoying, but it does actually give some sort of atmosphere. Yeah. It does make this part feel like a real challenge because you are just a bunch of, of rando civilians for rando. the most part. Never heard of them. You're not mercenaries, you're not soldiers, you're not trained in the martial arts. You're just folk. I mean, just folk. All right, let's see who dies this time. It does. It makes the part feel interesting. Yeah, and that's certainly not something we'll be able to say for forever. Mm, no. Please don't attack twice, sir. See, Thank I can you. be nice to this game. Ah, okay. So that guy, I guess, can't actually attack me from over this wall because he totally would have. Yeah, yeah. Like the the big walls are thing. Yeah. Probably need Mikaya for this bit. So let's see if I can kill this guy. Hey! 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 We did it. Way, buddy, pal, you were useful. We did it, Reddit. Um, yeah, I kind of figured that she could nuke that guy from orbit. Yeah, Fanny is uh, 
useful. Again, it's the classic Fire Emblem archetype of the Lord weapon that gets effectiveness against a bunch of the enemies that would be kind of annoying to kill otherwise. So it's always good. Did she go on a single speed? Nope. She started with eight. <laughs> At least I believe so. I've been wrong in the past. I'm sure there's an average uh, growth page somewhere on here. No. Yep, totally average that. No. I will kill off this dude with a bow, just to make sure he doesn't make our lives annoying later on. Okay, this one's formatted really badly. Yeah, it starts at eight. I mostly just don't want Ileana to die here. Let's start at two uh, defense. We've gotten like three percent, uh, three defense up. Ah, finally! Yeah, Edward doubles stat. someone with a steel this sword. That guy is fucking terribly like that. <laughs> Jesus. How Fox. could they do this? Fuck's sake, Radiant Dawn game factors. Luckily, these guys are actually stuck with these thickets over here, slowing their movement, so our Kurth and Amy over here are not actually in danger. Which is good, because we will be ending this chapter next. I mean, Streams Forest is still pretty terrible, um, to be honest. They laid out for average stats. Um, uh, the the game FAQs one for Path of Radiance was really good. I would just go straight to that character and be like, oh yeah, they're average stats that these levels are here. Yeah, it's this, and this, and this. it was easy to parse. It didn't have every single level. I don't need every single level. I do not need the <laughs> average at level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't need sure that shit. Sure you do. I do not need that shit. Um, no, Micaiah's speed growth is 35%. It's garbage. I mean, it's bad, but it's not 15, you know? Yeah. Her defense is 20, and we've gotten 3 on that, so that's pretty good. It's an 80% magic stat. Jeez. Yes, more numbers is better numbers. That's definitely how, what this game subscribes to. Yeah, with all the decimal points, that table is so unparsable. It's, it's bad. And the game of the is even worse because it's also a table. But, like, I don't know if it's because game of the formatting with the old pages has now gone weird. But the, Wouldn't surprise the me. The names of the stats do not line up with the numbers. Oh, shit. Leonardo did a thing. Nice. So defense is actually, like, far off to the right of where defense column is. It's not columned well, so it's even worse than that table. Anyway, I'm doing the thing. We can we can end the chapter, but I need to do no, the no, thing. No, 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 you're fine, you're fine. Uh, it's ten for the maximum, so just end Oh, the is it really? Yeah, ten. Um, ten and fifteen for zero. Um, you get extra normal mode for player units escaping, and par ah. even more for partner units escaping. So you actually get far more if you let those guys go away than you do for completing the chapter. So it's oh. worth it's worth taking. I would have sent them over sooner then. Yeah, and it's worth taking the extra turn. Yeah, because that's all that'll take. Because um. it'll half it, but it's. 80 for... yeah, 80 for clearing it on 10 turns, so 40 for clearing it on 11. Party. But you get 100 for each character that escapes. For right. each um, of those yellow characters. 25 for each player unit. Alright, well in that case I will just uh, move some folks so that they're kind of in safer-ish positions. And we'll, uh, do this. I'll keep Mikaya close enough. Yep. And hopefully you don't die, because that would suck. Yep. Good. Strong start. Bad. How? Oh, these bowmen do so much damage. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little ridiculous, I would definitely, definitely say. Definitely soft, like. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna plug the hole up with him, mm -hmm. um, and then let those two escape and then finish the chapter. Be careful about her getting shot over the- Ah, true. Yeah, I guess 
Aaron's just gonna have to stay put. Should be fine, because Soth, she they won't be able to attack him. Yeah, that's the thing. Such a weird bush. Like, that's, uh, I guess that's one thing. They did try to make somewhat more interesting looking maps, but it's mm -hmm. like, why would someone let a tree grow here <laughs> right in front of this gate? And I know that's like maybe a little nitpicky, but at the same time... Where you grow your shrubbery? Obviously. Off you go, Edward. Fine, I'll keep Nolan on to get a little extra experience for Laura. Wait, instead of escaping. I'm very good at this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit, they can't escape, can they? No, because, yeah. Fuck! Why did you last safe state? I don't know. God damn it. Ugh! I mean, they're they're gone, so I'll just take an extra turn here. Fuck yeah, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter, yeah. He's the only guy. 11 or 12 left. turns is the same, you know. It's alright. 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 Maybe we will end her after right. this chapter. Oh, shit. Hello. Hmm. Lord help me. These two are just steel lances. Well, if you move soft down and kill one... Yeah, think, that's think... kind of my thought process here. This guy has, uh... Let's move one, two, three, four, five, and and so as long as Aaron doesn't die, then I think this is okay. Lord help me! I if this fucks up, I will just go and end the chapter without yeah. the bonus exp. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Okay, seven. Yeah, so yeah quite a while ago, yeah. Yeah, no, it was going back is not currently an option. Mm -hmm. I'm very good at video games, it turns out. And you feel like I'm... Like, if she can't die against the... That maybe... Mm. Here, yeah. I don't know if I can kill this guy with Micaiah. Mm. Yeah, he doesn't reach. Yeah, that and you turn right now. Yeah. Basically, I fucked it. Yeah, you fricked it. Again, we'll just load the state. If, if this doesn't work, we'll just load the state and end the fucking chapter. <laughs> Ugh, god. Okay, good. Wasted a use of Thanny. It's fine. Definitely on purpose. Hmm. This is fine. Nice. Sure. Then Nolan away and then run off yourself. And get the fuck out. Oh. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna hey, fuck, fuck this you. guy up. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ugh, fuck Lord you, help fuck me. You. We're done. We're done. Everyone else, we're leaving. We're done. Climb over the wall. I don't we're care. We're done. Who would have thought? Yep. Breaks my heart. Hello, Yorg. Yorg. He kinda uh, did. He kinda did. Let's not fucking, like... <laughs> Jorgen Daniel. Again, let's not rewrite history here. Ashnard basically run riot over Crimea. He burned its fields and its people, like... He was trying to grind Crimea into the dirt. For reasons. If true, there may be hope. Don't go spreading rumors, boy. Ashtar left an orphan. 
Yeah, because we really want the son of Mad King Ashner on the throne, right? Why have I never heard of this? You know, the guy who was a Just monster. A rumor. Now, it should be noted that the uh, scion here was not gendered in this at this uh, point yet. Mm -hmm. So where is this orphan? Ah, there we go. That's a he. Near the Desert of Death. Shall we go over there to the Desert of Death? Sounds like a good job. Changes the shape of the future. Yes, just like mine, we're trying to find, you know, the heir. Yep. To take back their country. Yep. But no, Ashtar was a total evil shit. Like, <laughs> this guy's like, he voice. wasn't that bad. No, 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 no. He was. He was kind of that bad. He was. He took a dragon, Lagoos, and fucking broke its mind to use as his mount. Ah, hey, we got a base. All right, That's info. Fun. I think this will wrap this up with info and and show off why the support system is terrible. Let's have a quick chat with Kurth. To be fair, that's true. In, in, in nine, the air found us. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kurth. Ignore me! Ignore me! I'm not important. You definitely have not seen me before in a previous game. You, the viewer! Ignore me! Homeland ringed with mountains. What homeland could that be? Uh, Dragonland. No clue. It's totally not Dragonland. You have not asked where my homeland is. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. She don't care. <laughs> You were locked up by Benyon, so you know you're automatically a good person. Yeah. How that works, right? Yeah, please don't spoil things. We've played this game before. People are watching this, so you know. But yeah, don't like we'll we'll make we'll, jokes we'll about things. Get but into things when they happen. You don't, know. Don't don't talk about plot points or get. I mean, we only know this guy because we, you know. We've literally we've met literally him in met the previous him game. <laughs> we've literally met this dude. Like, yeah. It's not a spoiler because we played the first game twice. Not that he really showed up in the second run through, but yeah. No, no that's fair. Yeah, that's what you did in the previous game. That's our whole deal. That's why we actually got written into the plot here at this point. We're the only people in the world who sell weapons and items. Hell yeah, at least to us. Ah, it's it's some better rare than, things on sale. It is Strange better than ones. shops on the map. Which yeah, is... <laughs> that's true. And which when is you miss thing. things on the shops, so you'd be like, well, not no. gonna ever see that again. No. It was always funny. Yeah, you have to take time out of your chapter doings to go do some shopping. Well, thanks for listening. Although the funniest ones were the arenas. More merchants! <laughs> the arenas in chapters were funny. Oh, God. <laughs> and shenanigans. Well, hello! Hey, George, hey, Daniel. What can you do for us? I already told her. <laughs> Changes to our business. Mm. Mm. Thanks for asking. Master Blacksmith. Please sell us your weapons. Smelt them down, stranger. Custom made weapon. With a stupid name. Oh, we don't have to make it with a stupid name. We just like doing that. <laughs> um, thank you. One more thing. So yes, coins, which were completely useless in the last game in a very Dark Souls pendant kind of way. Mm-hmm. Uh, are actually useful in this one because you yes. can use them to buff up your forged weapons. And the carryover of the, how many we managed to carry over. Uh, Lord knows. We aren't exactly looking for them in this playthrough. 
Huh? Mm -hmm. Whoever it is, I don't know. Let's go poking through the hay here. Ah! Ah! Ah, yes. Oh, right, yeah, this girl we I finally always have forget a night. about as well. Yep. <laughs> a g, -g, -g, g girl Hmm. Mechanic of raw materials are forged weapons only in Japanese. Or... Sounds about right. That's what I thought. That it's, like, not actually a thing in this game. I don't think you would spy on someone in all that giant armor and also, like, the pigtails. Mm-hmm. She, she's totally inconspicuous. What are you talking about? Mm. I didn't see her at all standing there. How are you on the edge of the desert here? Oh, that's right. There's a desert chapter and they give us our first... They give us a knight. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Because they're like, you want punishment, right? You hate yourself, don't you? You hate desert chapters, don't you? Well, here, have a unit and use useless them. You're welcome. You know, it's weird to me that that last chapter wasn't presented as a tutorial to, like, let you go through the door, just because I feel like mm. early game Fire Emblems would usually do that. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, I mean, we, we could if we could just unlock that door, it would actually be this much easier. We could choose to go either way we want. Yeah, this game... I think this game very much assumes you've you played, played nine, Radiance, yeah. which is weird because it's on a different console. Yeah. It quite a ways out. So, um... If we look at our support menu here, you'll notice that basically anyone can support with anyone. The reason for this is that supports are basically generic in They're this game. They're generic, yeah. There completely. are some small, like, little changes in conversations, but there aren't really any of the proper support conversations. Not really. I like. No, it's bad. It's bad. It's really bad. A lot of the charm from Fire Emblem here. Is the support. Is the support. Like, Khalil was fantastic. Her supports are great. We loved her and Joffrey's support. It was really, really good. Yep. And it's just weird that they are just generic. Right, and you can only have, like, one set of supports. Like, like a person can only be supported to one other person and vice versa. So you can't mm -hmm. do giant support chains either. You nope. sort of... It, it's sort of like a precursor to the pair-up mechanic, but mm -hmm. they have, but they're still, you know, on a separate tile and don't get like all those other bonuses. They just get the stat bonuses that support provides if they're close enough, um, and that's how that works basically. It's also worth noting that you level up the supports, so like Nolan and Edward are a C right now, whereas Soth and Mikaya are at an A, which means they're getting a much bigger bonus. So anyway. You sort of just throw these units together, and eventually we'll kind of figure out who we're using and who, like, ends up paired up together a lot. It's just... it takes away so much of the charm. You know, like, and this is also why, like, all of these new characters to this game are just completely one note, yeah. because mm -hmm. if they're not getting lines in the chapters themselves, they're not getting lines. No. They, like, yeah. all of their characterization comes in the in-between chapters and the, like, two or three lines that you get when they have a generic support conversation with each and other. And, of course, you get so many characters in this game that they cannot have them all talking during the main game. It also feels like the screen's a bit dark. <laughs> not it, sure why. It's a bit dark, yeah. yeah. Um, by the way, we do have this discipline scroll for time. Ah, yes, weapons. Um, yeah. I have no fucking clue who we'd give that to. You can at least see how far up these are, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, sort of a nice thing in this game. So I believe weapon rank actually goes to double A. Yes. There are S rank weapons and there are fucking double S rank weapons in this game. I have to one up the previous game. Of course, yeah. All all numbers are more bigger. -er. God, she's level three, too. I'll do my best to use her, but we'll see. <laughs> I guess Aaron? Possibly. I mean, he doesn't have anything else right now. Um, someone in chat tell me if skills can, like, be taken off of people in this game. I always, like, and, and keep the skill. I always mm -hmm. forget if they actually changed it in one. I guess um, we could save state and test it. That's true. Yeah, we could, like, try taking it off of someone. 
Because in, in nine uh, skills are one. Yeah, each. Gulping's saying that they can be, um, which I was pretty sure was a thing in this game. Yeah, as long as the skills don't have that little lock thing on them, you actually can just switch them on and off. So, like, if I just remove discipline here, um, you can just put it right back on them. So, yeah. And that's kind of a nice thing that's because good. it means yeah. that you're not making permanent decisions yeah. about your character's skills, which was kind of annoying in the first one, yeah. you know. You can try things out before you do them, basically. Um, and on a skill like Discipline, that makes a lot of sense, because it would be such a waste to have this 10 skill thing uh, without it. But yeah, like, and then if I hit Remove, you can remove Shade, but I think that it would go away. I'm not actually sure. Or actually, no, I think if you removed it, it would have a cost assigned to it. Mm -hmm. So, like, mm -hmm. you'll notice that it currently does not take any of her capacity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what actually gets you to, like, not just take the Wrath Scroll off of Edward immediately, because it's essentially free on him. Um, yep. So, like, you could take off Wrath and give it to someone else, and that might be worth doing, but as long as you keep it on Edward, it's free. And that's like, that's it's a neat, I think they definitely do the oh. skills better yeah. in this game. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Incidentally, what is fortune? Nullifies enemy crits, okay. So that's, that's nice. nice, nice to have. I forgot that that was like a skill in this game. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, they added a whole bunch of skills. Yeah. Some, some useful, some not. But, yeah, know. and they also put things like shove into skills for whatever reason. I guess so that shove and smite are both, you know, like some characters basically, I guess they just made it the same as smite. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Anyway, um, so shop menu has been broken out from the items thing. You can, it's basically got the same shit as before. Um... We can, yeah, the list is a bit bigger now, and you can actually create knives now, so, yes. like, mm -hmm. lots of other nice stuff. Like, I think the selection of weapons that you can create from the forging is also quite a bit bigger as the game goes on. So it's like, there's a lot of nice little things. Good god, the supports kill so, so much. Yeah. Ah, it's there we go, a, we have records. It's such a core backbone. You know what? It was worth it. 525, 525. bonus. Yep. Yeah, um, I guess that's the other thing that we can do before we finish up is just say that uh, the way that bonus EXP works in this game is uh, if you level someone up with it, and I'm just going to give Mega level. Um, oh yeah, might as well. If you level someone up with it, they are guaranteed to get a three stat bonus. Like, no more, no less. Which basically um, eventually becomes kind of cheesable because uh, this... it. I don't know if it takes growths into account at all, or if it's just totally random, but it won't touch a stat that's been capped. Yeah, yeah. Which means that if you've capped two of their, like, you know, really high growth good stats, if you use bonus EXP, they'll start gaining it for other stats that aren't capped. Um, also important, if you look at the gauges that are behind the stats there, that actually gives you an idea of what the cap is. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll notice for basically all of the non-magic, or for most of the non-magic characters, their magic cap is, I believe, five. Uh, might even be lower. And for the non... Yeah, it might be lower for certain characters, because, yeah, like, Nolan has a super low magic cap, whereas Edward has probably ten. So, like... Mm -hmm. That means that you can cap stats potentially like magic much earlier uh, and resistance as well. So like unpromoted yeah. classes don't no actually cap at 20. No one's magic cap is fine. Right. So like they basically shuffled a lot of the caps around in this game. Like God, Laura's caps are all over the place. Yeah. I guess her skill and speed are capped at like 15 here. Um, but yeah, and this is just kind of a way that to really cheese some characters depending on it. Yep, 15. Ah, yes, Meg has a really high res growth and a really low res cap because she's Ten. a knight. Yeah, Ten. she's at six res right now and she'll max that real quickly, which means that you'll never waste a bonus EXP level on resistance. So it's like a really weird system and I think they meant it to kind of balance things out from five where or from nine where you could sort of just pump someone super high on bonus EXP whereas here it's kind of a bit more limited but as you get later in the game it gets like kind of ridiculous cheesable, yeah. very very cheesable although with the triple level ups and caps and stuff it's not quite as much as it might first appear 
Anyway, I think that's all we have for now. Um, I don't know that there's anything we want to buy. Maybe we just do this real quick, but we'll we'll finish up. Oh yeah, let's sort everyone's around. Yeah, make sure that all of their items are good because we'll never do this otherwise. <laughs> Um, the trade. Like convoy, like all of the, the Dracos. Yes, that's a good idea. I don't know if we want to use our stuff or something. That's, something we need to talk that's about. another weird one, yeah. I mean, it's like... It, it's difficult because a lot of these characters we will not use. Yeah, exactly. Later in the game. A lot we will abandon a lot of these, but... That boosting items is kind of useful at this point in the game. Right, it's almost better to just use them early if we're going to use them. Mm -hmm. Um, and... With a lot of these characters, it's not really that hard to be like, well, they are always going to benefit from two strength or two defense, you know? Um, so I don't feel really bad about using them most of the time. Edward has zero magic, so he when he attacks at the wind edge, it'll just be the six might. Six might, might. oh yeah. Amazing. Um, but yeah. Also, yes, she is a sword knight uh, rather than a lance or an axe knight. Because knights can be all three in this game, which is actually a throwback to four, I believe. Because mm -hmm. um, in the Game Boy games, they didn't have that. Yeah, but, yeah like Shrimp was saying, like, the downside of the bonus EXP stuff is that all the characters end up feeling generic yep. as well. Because they all, they're all basically get defined by their caps, especially because like if you let someone get up to level 20, 20, 20 in this game, which you can do, uh, at least with the ones that start with the lower level promotions, mm -hmm. you have so many level ups to kit caps on. So it's, it's definitely weird. Yeah. Anyway, all right, I think we are finally going to finish this up. All right, yep, that's fair. But, uh, I said I think we'll aim for somewhere between two, two and three uh, hours three each hours. time. Um, um, that and seems reasonable. Be, yeah, because this game is quite a bit longer than even nine. Uh, as we've shown, because it's taken us two and a bit hours to get through four maps. Admittedly, part of that was me fucking around in the one chapter. And dying. But, and dying several times, doing it the incorrect way. But that's part of the experience but, of this yeah. game, is dying and resetting. Yeah. Dying and resetting. I would say that the Dawn Brigade early chapters are some of the hardest chapters in yes. the entire game. Yes. Um, they're each chapter... I would say each part has its very difficult chapters, yeah. like, because... When you complete a part, you'll be cycling out other units, but Dawn Brigade in particular has just so many difficult chapters that you wouldn't expect at the start of the game. Anyway, we are going to finish up for now. Um, we will be doing another stream of this on Tuesday mm -hmm. at 3 Eastern time. Yep, I think we're going to start Fiesta tomorrow. Yep, she will be, uh, she be Serene will be streaming sort of Fiestas. Unscheduled, uh... Be cool commentating with me, and it'll be when I want to play it, sort yep. of thing. It'll be a forbidden run. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Yep. Should be a fun time. Yep. We, we have a, some free time, so those will probably be morning, afternoon. -ish. Yep. Potentially evening, but maybe not. We'll see. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thanks for coming. Thank you.